Fun fact, uh, I used to, when I used to do Boktober, um, I would make a point to not skip any game, unless it was like a, like a free game on like Game Jolt or something, but I'd make a point to not, to finish every game I started, okay? Silent Hill 4 was the first game I, I broke that rule. I was like, I can't do it. My, my first playthrough of Silent Hill 4 was on stream, and it was the first game that I just couldn't do it. I hated it so much, I couldn't make it through the game. Um, but with that being said, I have speed ran it since then. Like, I used to run this game just a little bit. I probably ran it for like a month. And it was like very, very rarely did I run it during that month, but I did. I grinded it for a little bit. We grinded it until I got fourth place, and then I found it hard to get a PB after that, and I stopped. Um... And, uh, yeah, so, all right, I always change my opinion, well, not always, but typically when I replay a game, I will change my opinion on it or, you know, realize that my opinion is the exact same. Uh, with this game, my opinion on it is that, um, the story is really good, the enemies are really annoying, this game is best enjoyed by watching someone play it, someone who knows exactly what to do, when to do it and knows everything about the story. <laughs> and it's worst enjoyed with a blind playthrough. Anyway, I'm playing on normal. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah! It was two years ago that Henry Townshend moved into room 302 of South Ashfield Heights, an apartment building in a medium-sized city of Ashfield. Henry was happy and enjoying his new life. Perfectly timed. Ghost Konami. But five days ago, something strange happened. He began to have a reoccurring dream each time. He couldn't leave room 302. Alright, this is the sound I make when I get my wiener stuck in an elevator door. The sensitivity. Creepy, looks like a face. The sensitivity is wild for the mouse right now. I'm using mouse and keyboard for some genius reason. Uh... You know what? If plug and play works for Xbox, I'm switching. Come on, Xbox. Xbox is God tier. Oh, wait, what? All right, you know, what? I'm just going to relaunch the game really quick. I think playing it on I th I used to speed run it on PC or on keyboard, but I don't know if I could stomach it this time. Do do do. Thank you, Didi. Thank you, Pepparino. Thank you, Vermeers. Thank you, Dirty Thirst again. Thank you, Cast of Fairy Tale. All right, let's go, people. Ah! Oops. Chocolate milk? What's with this room? What is with this room? Oh, what are those? Yikes, Henry. This is my room, but what the hell has happened to it? Thank you, Didi. I'm gonna kick this chill sandwich.
Uh oh. 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 Oh no. Uh oh! No, no! No, 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 no! No, no! Oh! No. no, 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 no! Oh shit, watch out! Dang it, everyone. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So I have a sponsor now, Lords of the Fallen. Um, game's a little short, but... Yeah, this game does have a good soundtrack. Or, well, a couple of the songs are really good. bad dream that's how I wake up to oh man who we calling who do you guys think he called still not working Rekka Papa John's I am so bad at being What? I'm gonna kick this cheerful sandwich. Hello? Is this the game where he says what? Help me. What? It is. The chords the chords cut. <laughs> The writing slash voice acting in this game is fucking hilarious to me. The cords cut. What? The cords cut. Saving it. Oh. I clearly love this game. All saves filled. The speed run? That's a PB for the first save, it looks like. Actually, well, I did used to legitimately run the game. Boards oh, look at those Lego care. Look, Roblox. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He hates this game. She hated it more than I did. We we disliked it for vastly different reasons though. Look at the walking animation. <whistles> Chords cut. This is probably the best part of the game in my opinion. I really like being able to like you watch the people in their window and Everything outside, like, and everything in the apartment. I mean, it's, this is, this is what gave us PT. 
Now this is one of my least favorite parts of the game. This game has a limited inventory for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> and it feels horrible. Uh, five days ago, that's when I first had the nightmare. I haven't been able to get out of my room since then. I don't mind downpour. The phone doesn't work, the TV doesn't work, I can't even get- Dude, my whole world has suddenly turned insane. My door is chained up, the windows are sealed shut. Whoa. And on top of that, someone's chained the door from the inside. How am I going to get out of here? Don't go out, Walter. What the hell? The hell? What's going on here? What's going on here? Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill tier list. Two, three, one. Oh man. Origins, Downpour, Homecoming. My luck changes before the party. Book of Memories, four. Thank you, heck you. And thank you, Toronto. Thank you again, Lip. I'm just kidding. It goes to... It goes two, three, one, four. Right, guys? What's this? Mum, why don't you wake up? What does that mean? Now, I'm going to pay very close attention to the story this time. Chocolate milk! What if there's a mod to get rid of the limited inventory? Looks like a scrap from some book. Through the ritual of the Holy Assumption, he built a world and exists in a space separate from the world. Our Lord, more accurately, it is within, yet without the Lord's world. Okay, come on with the mumbo jumbo. Unlike the world of our Lord, it is a world in extreme flux. Unexpected doors or walls, moving floors, odd creatures, a world only he can control. All right, so Walter controls this world, apparently. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity. All right, so if we go to Silent Hill, we're there forever. Undying, they will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? What does that even mean? Who is he forgiving? For what? What's the abomination? It is important to travel lightly in that world. He who carries too heavy a burden will regret it. All right, wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? You guys can backseat. Anyone swallowed up by that world will live there for eternity, undying. They will haunt that realm as a spirit. How can our Lord forgive such an abomination? So our Lord in this context is is um Walter. What's what is he forgiving? Creating the twisted world was an abomination. Oh, so this person is mad because the other world sucks. Oh, I get it. Okay. What's going on in here? One's in the chat if you love Silent Hill 4. What the hell? There it is. S somebody in there? Is <laughs> ah. somebody in there? I wonder if I can get out this way. This is, this is, this is. 
Listen, you can hear a quack. Quack. Listen. Where's the quack? It's coming. This will restart the loop, then we'll hear it. We're going in. A lot of games actually took this idea. I don't know if the whole crawl in a hole in the wall thing started with Silent Hill 4. Here it is. Oh, wait, never mind. Thank you, Mr. Bwomp. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. That is one deep hole. Thank you. Look at that hole. I played this on Xbox when it came out. The Dude, the past three words, the past three things he said is what the hell. He's worse than Barry Burton right now. He's gonna see the check and he's gonna be like, what the hell? Wait, who is th what the hell? Who's that? Look at my shadow. Who are you? What's your name? God, he's looking all cool. You see Henry. Him? And you? Did you see him leaning? <laughs> this is my dream, and you don't even know my name. It's Cynthia. Your dream. That's right. <laughs> this is just a dream. And a really terrible one, too. I hope I wake up soon. So you think this is a dream, huh? Well, if it's not a dream, what is it? Anyway, I want to get out of here, but I can't find the exit. I wonder why they made the graphics See? like... Whoa! Will you help me find it? Like, what's that effect? That I'm kind of scared all alone. I'll do a special favor for you later. <laughs> it's just a dream, so I might as well have some fun. Maybe I could turn that on. Yeah, you forgot your glasses effect. Oh God, how do you get the nurse costume for her? Did I? Should I have started with New Game Plus? Purple, perfect. Thank you, Passadard. Thank you, thank you. Wait, do you need to play New Game Plus to unlock stuff for the costumes? Hey, Devaker. Shit, someone else said something too. I can't scroll up, but hello, new batter. Wait a minute. I think I'm gonna puke. It's because Henry's Riz is like, the aura is way too strong. He's not used to talking to men this cool.
going in there. What the? Combat time? Whoa! The diarrhea. Yeah, they spent a lot of time on sound effects in this one. Jaguar.mp4 and then later they do monkey.mp4. How the hell do I attack? How the hell do I attack? Oh. Backhand. Get him with the kick. Yeah. Get him with the ya. Uh. Yeah. Oh. Drop that. Oh yeah, to move properly in this game, you gotta let go of the controller. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I remember now. Remove the film grain, maybe? I think so. I love it. What? Another dream. But it seems so real. Or could it be? Was I really inside that woman's dream? Holy shit. Oh, that's just stupid. What am I thinking? What is he thinking? I'm playing the GOG version. It's actually a really good port for the most part. Oops. Yo, catastrophe. What? The pistol. Easy to use. Hey, name ad. Yo, Imbus. That was it, the quack. Yo, army, a boss, a bell. I don't know if we did everything. Did I do what I was supposed to do? I used to speed run this game, yeah. I don't know if we did what I was supposed to do. Cause she should be here by now, right? Maybe she comes later. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, feel free to backseat. I don't want to get stuck on anything in this game. Like, I or feel free to backseat, like, if, if this happens. <laughs> Like, go back in that hole! <laughs> go back in that hole, your life depends on it.
What's it say? The faint hope I had is slowly changing to despair. I've somehow managed to tunnel this far, but no matter what I do, I can't get any further. The hallway, the windows, the walls. It feels like this room is stuck in another dimension. Eileen never noticed. Saddle Hill 4 is underrated. I think Saddle Hill 4 is rated. <laughs> Saddle Hill 4 is too highly I praised. That damp room. Oh. There it is. There it is. Where did I put that damn broom? Oh shit. Hurry! Save me! Let's go! If you need a token, there's one here! What's the Easter egg? I think this game would be vastly, vast. vastly, vastly better if it didn't have limited inventory. Keep peeking through. Oh, you mean for the. for Roger to look at us? Can that happen yet? I don't think that can happen yet. He's sweep, sweep, sweeping. Clean. Oh! Jesus. Let's go ho. La, la, let's go ho. Alright, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna comment on the game as we play. This enemy is genius. Common enemy in, in Resident Evil, zombie. Common enemy in Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, well, there's many, and they're fine. Common enemy in Silent Hill 4, a floating zombie that can go through walls, that has a health draining aura when you're close to it, that spams grab attacks, and is invincible. What? For a common enemy? Why does a common enemy have five mechanics? <laughs> Almost invincible, yeah. Almost. Round Skater! It's the invincible health training magic ghost zombie. Invincible. Get good. That is the perfect response when raiding a game casually played for your first time. Um, 
Oh wait, I don't think this is the way. Oh, guys, I, I should warn you. If you love Silent Hill 4 and you're watching just to get giddy, <laughs> this is the wrong stream. But I, I change my opinion a lot when I play games. I'm a lot nicer on this game because I, generally speaking, I know where to go for the most part. So it's going to seem a lot better than it is. The newcomers. Um. Oh, wait. There goes some of my health. <laughs> Enemies in this game are fucking ass. Cynthia? Cynthia! is in like they're all cheap as hell and annoying and we're this is this is the perfect this is the perfect time to bring this up by the way because these enemies that we're about to encounter woo! these enemies everything about them like the fact that when they hit you you go fucking flying and you have to deal with them twice oh <laughs> like, come on, dude. Oh, try again. Every one of them is like a, oh, you didn't make it this time. Try again. Dude, the control. I'm switching to keyboard. The controller is like fucked or something. Oh, this game's controlled with mouse and keyboard. I thought it was just keyboard. Oops. <gasps> Banger alert! Hey, thank you, Onyx. Yo, left left eater. Are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. It's just a dream, right? 
think I drank too much last night. I never got to do that special favor for you. I I feel like I'm dying. stats thank you brian thank you coffee thank you bacon may i have this dance god i can't wait for silent hill ascension who's with me thank you be my thought thank you misery yeah feel enough for you to cry but but <laughs> I know I love that song but I feel like, like it's, it's actually it's it's the lyrics are great greatly placed but I do find it funny how it's like meant to be a big deal when it's just like, it's just some hoe. Man, I don't mean ho is a bad thing, there? but like she's just the stereotypical like hooker type. Like, oh, just met this guy. Hey, escort me through the subway. I'll do you a special favor. Like, okay. I just literally said hi to you, but sure. And Henry's like not even feeling any of it. He's like, okay. <laughs> he was desperate. She was desperate. That's true. I don't mean she's some hoe like a bat. I just mean like it's just like. Oh no. That random girl that offered me a blowjob just died. By the way, I'm just shooting the shit. I don't think Hurry that's a big that I don't think that's a bad thing in the game or anything. There's an ambulance and a police car near the subway station. Is it Cynthia? Is it Cynthia? Three ten thirty thirty at Greco. Oh, we got a note. We got a note. One thing I think this game's major strength is the story. I think the story is awesome in this game, but although the cult itself is gone, I'm sure the spirit of it is still alive. There are too many strange things happening in that town. I'm investigating two people, or maybe I should say just one. I've just about discovered what's going on. April 8th. Who's that from? Red Diary. All right. Oh, we got to save it. I'm playing the PC version. No mods or nothing. They just, they act so, um, there's, for those who don't know, if you're new to PC gaming or whatever, um, so there's Steam. And then there's a couple other things, but there's this website called GOG. It's, um, what's it stand for? I don't know. It's not Green Man Gaming. Is it? I don't know what GOG stands for. Good old games. So GOG also does ports like Steam. So this game is on GOG. It's not on Steam. It's on GOG. And it's actually a great port, surprisingly. Silent Hill Homecoming is on Steam. Silent Hill 2 and 3 are on PC, but those three ports of the game are fucking horrible. 
They're so ridiculously bad. And then this game's playable, so. And you can change the resolution as well. Like, it's, uh, it's good. I don't think they ever fixed Homecoming. Oh shit! I remember when I, the first time I ever tried to play Homecoming, I played the PC version, and I was like, ah, it'll work. I had faith. I'm an optimistic person sometimes. And, uh... Yeah. I got to the apartment building, and it just kept crashing. And, and I, like... I did a fix, a couple fixes for it, and I got a couple minutes further, and it would just crash later on in the apartment again. Just be like, alright. It's getting bigger. Enter the hole. Yes, indeed. Sup, Raven? Oh, of course I prefer this over the PS2 version. Yeah, Punchy, it's unfortunate. Did you submit anything to GDQ? I didn't get to look at the list. Or did you get in to GDQ? I gotta check who got in. Sorry to uh, uh, ask, but... I seen Maxi got Granny, the Granathon in. That's shocking, but that's amazing. Oh, really? I see. Oh, so, so it's, they're doing in-person event. And I assume all remote runners are just going to be placed at, like, graveyard shift. This is a genius enemy. I love it. It's so good. So well thought out. Just, just an annoying fucking bug. That's in many rooms of the game. It's like, it's like the CVX cockroaches that are in... F about two meters of one room, except they're a common enemy. It's genius. And I could sit here and kill them, but that's even more annoying. Alright, so I did use the speeder in this game, but that was like six years ago, so... Or, I don't even know how long ago it was. I, I don't remember. It was whenever I learned C... Back when I was fucking crazy, or less crazy maybe, um, I did a sub goal, and if it was reached, I s promised I would run CVX, which I hated that game at the time, and I promised I'd run Silent Hill 4, and I hated, well, I might still hate this game. I don't hate CVX anymore. So yeah, we met the sub goal for both, so there was a period on this channel that lasted about two weeks, where I would run CVX for four hours, and I would run <laughs> Silent Hill 4 for four hours. And this whole stream was just CVX and Silent Hill 4. What a time to be alive. So the, you came to investigate this, this stone too. Ah! There, there was a, another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy ah! guy. But, but, but uh, I was the one, one who found the stone first. Ah! In the old days, the natives called it Nakihona. They used it in a, a, a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the Mother Stone. They're just uh, up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to c c collect or orphans and, 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 and d d did things to them. Wait, what? Oh. Kind of gives you the ch chills, huh? Yeah. This stone. Yeah! 
Oops, I skipped the tack. Oh yeah, we're here. I don't know what way to go first. Maybe this way? Actually, no, I think it's this way. Thank you, Kiss. Yo, subbies. Um. Hello? You know where... Oh, that was coming from my house. I... There was a really loud sound. Oh no! Like, that room would have been better off without those fucking bugs. Doo -doo. I hate when you reach the point of the game and you start to lose your health in your apartment building. Oof. There's weird writing here, too. Ugh. Um... Thank you, sis. I'm gonna go deposit some items, even though we need to later for a puzzle, but... Yeah, I figured Silent Hill 4 would be the best one to stream this month. I might play some other Silent Hill games too, but, um... Yeah, every time I play Silent Hill 4... People get very excited. For one reason or another. Hey. Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises Help! From the there. Help! Hey, Richard, can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. Silent Hill 4 needs a remake. Lives here. I said it. What's he like, anyway? Uh, I know his name and face, but that's about it. What? Well... I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah. Super. Good idea. Would I ever play Homecoming or Downpour? Um, I've streamed them a few times. I think I've streamed them three times each. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but. I see those games as huge tasks. Quack. I think I might do a Dead by Daylight All Killers Marathon, maybe, in the next couple days, only because they're doing drops right now. And it's the first time ever. That they've ever done drops. Which is pretty cool. Oh, does the event st Oh, I'll just do it during the event. Then. Alright, you know, want, want my take? You know why I think they made the inventory system limited? This probably isn't it, but it's definitely a factor. This this is this is my probably not true hot take. It's because this puzzle needs you to go back and deposit you or makes you deposit an item in your apartment. And they couldn't figure out anything else. So they were like, well, let's just make the inventory limited. That's genius. Then the puzzle will work. Oh. You guys will see what I mean. No, but in reality, they just, they needed a reason for you to go back to the, 
What are you doing? To the hotel or to the apartment. You're finally the third revelation. Holy shit. Something's gonna happen. That nosy guy that was here, he said it too. Something big is gonna happen. Finally, it's gonna happen. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Contra. <laughs> Woohoo. Run, kid. Before I bash your brains in. You piece of shit. One, 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 two, one. This game has a strange mix of a range controls and ta and like sort of like to do optimal movement, you don't really run in a straight line often. You typically hold in forward and like tap, <laughs> just tap another direction constantly. It's it's the only game I've ever ran that you do that with. Like I'm tap, 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 tap. It's like, it's just so strange. Oh, here we go. Take your chocolate milk. Oh fuck, I forgot to go get it. Oh nice, yeah, separate ways on pro isn't too bad at all. Man, it was really fun playing through Village of Shadows the other day. Alright, let's get that milk. Wait, I can't use W, S, A, and D for this menu. I have to use the arrow keys. Uh Wait, what the fuck is happening? Yo, thank you, Baran and Coyote. Thank you so much for the ten gifted subs. And thank you, Mr. Silent Bob. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't know if I can bind Oh, you can't, you can't double bind stuff. Never mind. All right. I can't remember my first impressions with this game, but uh, we rented it too. My oldest brother rented it. Thank you, Twitchy Tango. Thank you, Mr. Silent Bob. And um, I know I played it. I, I think I didn't beat it just purely because I, like, when it came when it came to games that my brother owned, my oldest brother. I could only play them when he wasn't home, so. And if I wasn't doing something else already. The fuck? The, the d d door won't open. How the fuck do I use items? What is. Th that nosy guy. Gave me something really good. I, I, I could. Hmm. Let you have it, but, but, but. 
but not For free. Oh, sorry. I pressed so many buttons on my keyboard. I muted my mic. Um. What? Oh, there we go. Oh man, that was awesome. Here, take this. There's something written on it. Woohoo! Okay, it's so it's so strange. So I have to press T for menu. Then pick my item with my arrow keys, because it doesn't let you double bind. And then I have to press space and then F. What happened to hover over item press button? Alright, where is this thing buried at? There's a lot of dogs here. I don't know if the tree's over here. I guess it's not. I think I must have just missed it in another area. Oh wait, no, it is here. Somewhere. Isn't it? Oh, there it is. could only live on one thing, would it be chocolate bars or milk? Oh, bars, 100%. At least you can make chocolate bars healthy. Boing! Plus, I'm lactose, if you're asking me personally, I'm lactose intolerant, so I'll go with the bars. <laughs> Surprised I'm playing this of all things. The second half is just pain. What are you talking about? When you replay every single level all in a row in the same row, but you play it as an escort quest and the and the mission you're doing is even more monotonous, that's what are you talking about? This is one of the best Silent Hills. Dude, the first time I ever played this game, I couldn't believe when you went back to the subway and then back to the forest and then I knew it was but then I knew we were fucked we were going back I knew we were going back to the next place too I could not believe it I was I remember I was so excited in my first playthrough when we were beating the apartment building I, w I was telling chat and the hospital too I was telling chat I'm like I'm so excited to see the next level I hope there's a at least one good level in this game I hope we I hope we get to go and then the game just sends you right back to all the exact same areas. I couldn't fucking believe it. Like, if you're gonna send me back somewhere in a Silent Hill game, how about this? How about Silent Hill? Oh, we got a key. Oh wait, is the key for here? It might be.
I would not. I would never complain if in a Silent Hill game you're constantly going through Silent Hill. That be that's one of my favorite parts with Silent Hill too. I can't wait to do that in the remake. Regardless of the quality of the remake, I'm just so excited to explore Silent Hill again. Love that shit so much. And I chose this game to play because I think of all Silent Hill games I could choose to play, uh, this is probably the most entertaining for chat. Because it's a controversial Silent Hill game, and I'm in the minority with my opinion on it. So it makes it so much better. Thank you, Nekaja. I enjoy it though. There's no Silent Hill game I actually like hate. Not even Downpour or Homecoming. Thank you, Slayer T Bone. Here's a part I can read. The second sign, and God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of flesh and gain the power of heaven from the darkness and void bring forth gloom. When I read this stuff, It's like in one ear, out the other. Oh no. Oh. Coming. He's carving numbers in his chest. I finally met him! The one the nosy guy talked about! The devil! <laughs> Yowzers! A special news report. In a forest near Silent Hill, the burned corpse of a 30-year-old male was discovered earlier today. The police have ruled it a homicide, homicide and are investigating. The numbers 17121 were reportedly carved into the man's body. 7121. The marks on the victim. The police are investigating. Thank you, Trudies. Thank you, Trudels. Ten years ago. Thank you. Ten years ago. Hello. I'm here. This is the superintendent. Are you in there, Henry? Help me. There's something <laughs> wrong with this room. Help me. Help. Let me out of here. Help me. Help. Is anybody home? Help me. What's going on here? Because I think it sucks. That's the one. Is it going to work? Strange. 
right key. key. Uh, um, I'm sure I heard something in there. Oh, help! Yeah. That sound. It's the same one as back then. The, there should be a spin-off game where he it starts with him making that discovery and then he's like a detective. We get to see the other side of things. Yeah, I don't know what the general consensus is on Silent Hill 4, honestly. I did a Silent Hill tier list and put it on YouTube, and the only thing people argued was, uh, I thought everyone hated Home- or, sorry, I thought everyone hated Downpour the most, and I put it at the worst, and a lot of people were like, You're crazy! Homecoming's the worst by far! I was like, oh, shit. Whack. Yo, Jaluva. Silent Hill fan. I, I just feel for Silent Hill fan. I'm a Silent Hill fan. Um, obviously. But. Like, Resident Evil has like 20 decent games. Like, Zero is decent. Outbreak's at the very least decent. Um. Six is decent, and then there's a lot of really good games. Silent Hill, it's got three good, arguably three good games, really good, and then after that, you're gambling. The thing, but this particular game. The thing is... I love the idea of this game, and like... I, I said it at the start of the stream, but I'll say it now because there's way more people here. When I watch someone play this game, I fucking love it. Like, when you watch someone play through it, and, and they know what to do, and they don't die or get lost, it's great. But when you watch a blind playthrough... And they're lost and dying all the time, and they're, you know, they get the bad ending because Eileen just gets fucked up. Or you play it yourself blind. That's where I think the game falls flat. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Get me out. Get me the hell out of here. I'm trying. Yeah. He's gonna kill me. He's touching my face. Oh, he's gonna kill me. He, he's gonna kill me. Get me out. To get to the surveillance rooms in the middle of this complex, you have to use the corpse disposal chutes in the cells. However, the first and second floors of the cells are locked. You have to get to the first floor from one of the cells on the third floor. Um. Yeah, so this level, this, this section of the game is three... The idea is cool. I, I like the idea of lining up the chutes and jumping down them. But like, I wonder how long it took to make this level. Because it's just like three circles that look the exact same. With every single room looks the exact same. You know, it's just... Oh my god, these guys are in here?
I think this is where you go. Wait, what's the key? Something written on this plate. To turn on the lights in the third floor cells, turn the this water wheel. But um We don't want to disturb the bugs. Let's go let's get out of here. Yeah, this game is unique. thinking just kill it running by is far easier yeah the combat in this game has seen better days I don't know if this is the floor book is this? I've been watching the surveillance room's peephole the whole time and sometimes he's there. I can tell because I see a shadow move or hear his footsteps. That's the other. Oh! Every time I play this game I'm reminded of how shit the enemy design is. Just... There's one cool enemy. And it's the two-headed baby face guys. And the rest of it's just a bunch of annoying shit. This is the cool enemy. Where is he? There he is! <laughs> Wait. Oh wait, no, I don't do this yet. Oh wait, no, this takes me to where I want to go, I think. Whoa! The burping nurses, oh yeah. Wait, what's this? I'm sick of being watched. I'm tired of being follow- or- Oh, this- that wasn't the right room. Maybe it was? I think I gotta go down one more floor. Get me out. Shut up. Shut up, lady. Get me the hell out of right here. Ooh. Graffiti. I'm being watched from the middle room. Get the hell out of here. We jump down the wrong hole. I'm pretty sure you get me the hell out of here. I'm pretty sure you go from the third floor down to wait, maybe I can go up to the top. I don't think so. Get me the hell out of here. Hey, King Jupe. I'm trying to get him the hell out of there. We're gonna get him the hell out of there, I promise. What's this do? Thank you, Axiomata. Does this actually... Does this turn the thing so I can jump down that hole again? No. Oh. I 
think I just went in the wrong room, maybe. I'm pretty sure it's here. Alright. We're gonna go in the correct room this time. Uh-oh, there's a hole here? Oh no. I'm pretty sure it's after the broken pipe. Excuse me. Like, I'm pretty sure it's... But this is the one we went down last time. Maybe it's this one. I'm going with this one. I'm pretty sure it's after the broken pipe. Oh. Woohoo! We did it! Oh shit, there's nowhere to go in here. RUN! Uh... Alright, so... Wait. The secret number for getting through the door in the back of the kitchen is 0302. I don't have the map to this place, I don't think. Oh wait, I do. Alright, so... Bam! So we want it to... We want it... Wait. Oh god, I forget how this puzzle works. Do we want to drop into that hole? I don't think so. Yo! Thank you, Catastrophe, for the big 5-3. Thank you, thank you. Line up the bloody beds. No blood on any bed yet. There's one. Oh, what? This didn't appear as a hole on the map. Oh, now it is. Okay. I see. So you have to look through first. All right. So we want all the holes to be top right. I know the speed strap, but it's hard to do. Oh, but that door is locked, though. Hey, Lucina. Bow. Wait, who redeemed pet the chicken? Are you in chat? I'll have to wait for them to come back. They can't miss it. Yeah, I'll never understand why people redeem a bunch of shit when I'm not here. Spare him. Oh. Oh. 
Oh! Who's that boy? And who are you? His name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. I used to work at the orphanage watching the kids. I'm Andrew DeSalvo. They tried to make it seem like an orphanage, but according to that town's holy scriptures, it was actually the center of their religion. And that kid, Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Especially that descent of the Holy Mother business. Oh, scary. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They love the soup troop. Fellas. Oh, my God. Mm. Oh my god. Do you guys love the soup trip or are you just saying that? Bam. Bam. What is it? Three one zero three. What? Three zero oh two. Wait, what? Why can't no power? How the hell do I turn the power on? Yo, yeah. dead. This game only has annoying enemies. It's so funny in Silent Hill 2, every enemy you just can you can just like walk on by. In this game, every enemy is just fucking so annoying. Wait, how do I turn the power on? I don't know. Oh wait, I can go in here. I thought this was on the revisit. I still think it's on the revisit. Okay, um... Going back to the pad. Oh, the dodge. Enter that hole, my dude. Uh oh. That sound. We turned on the TV. One second. I 
I don't remember turning this on. <laughs> He's got two remotes. Is one for the VCR? I don't remember pressing the button on the remote control. Come on, you're wasting electricity. Just turn it off, Henry. Sure. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Yo, Torm, I am great. How are you doing? Scrap of red paper. All right, here we go. The mysterious red paper. Lately, I've been feeling like my life is in serious danger. I've been through a lot in my life, but I've never felt this kind of pure animal fear. In case something happens to me, I've decided to write down what I've learned for whoever you are that's living in the apartment now. So I take it this is the person that used to live in the apartment. I've been investigating the mass murder that took place seven years ago in which 10 people were killed in 10 days. They were killed in a variety of ways, but one thing they had in common was that each corpse had the following numbers in order of their deaths carved into them. The name of their killer, it was carved in as well. His name was Walter Sullivan. Oh, fuck. How do I turn power on in this place? Walter Sullivan, the guy from the... The guy from the... There's note in Silent Hill 2. Oh shit! Oh, you have to turn the second and third floor wheel one more time. I see. God damn it. I thought because the door, it gave us that cutscene, we were done with that. Oops. Where the heck is the door that leads? To the middle. Oh, I think it's actually by the ladder. Gentlemen. All right. Okay. Doesn't matter if that one's locked. Left, left, left. How do we know if the power is back on? Will it show us a cutscene? Oops. Whoa, wait, wait. Is there a way? What the fuck is going on here? So... Oh, wait, what's with the water splashes? Can I go down to the other floor? Oh... So we have to line up the water splashes. So this is wrong.
Wait, I don't know if the... I don't know if the splash is good or the blue is good. I'm gonna assume the blue is good. Wait, well, it couldn't have been... Do they all have to be splashed or... I'm not sure. I'm shocked, no one knows. I guess I'll just read the puzzle. I just assumed chat would know Silent Hill 4. Okay. I'm going down. Um... Yeah, I think the blue dot's traveling through. So, we need to line it up with that. Okay, here we go. Whatever. Oh, wait. We don't... I, I was under the impression that I needed to go... I know in the speedrun you only do this once, so I think you can line them up as well as, like, line up the holes to jump down as well. Okay. Not right. Not right. I mean, three are connected. Oh, that's the same three, I think. This must be it. Yep. Nope. Wait, will it have, maybe it'll have power. I, I don't know how this works. I've never even paid attention to this part of the puzzle. I didn't even know it was a thing. What is that shitty enemy? Nothing. <laughs> you can't turn this floor. Um, all right. Well, I think I need all four. Wait, wait, one sec. All right, it's all four corners. So we needed all four corners. Whatever, I won't line up the- it doesn't matter lining up the hole. Okay. Well, that's almost all four corners, but it's not all four! Mm. 
No, I used to speed run this game actually. Used to as in like <laughs> five years ago. But on the speedrun, this isn't even a factor. The first time you spin them, that's it. I'm confused. You can't line them all up. Or am I crazy? Does anyone in chat just tell me the answer? For the love of God. Oh man, when you need back seating, absolutely no one knows. The travesty. The fucking travesty. Yeah, I mean that that's sh that ship has sailed the whole four right, two right. I can't say I'm surprised no one knows because I didn't even know this was a thing in this puzzle. It just worked for me. Okay. Is this gonna work? Hmm, I don't I don't get it. I, like you can't turn this one. What? Wait, why? Why is that a splash? Oh. Yeah, I mean, that ship has sailed. I. I actually think you need to check the pipes on the floors, too. So that one, all right, I get it now, I think. So we need it to be the the top two and the bottom bottom right. All right, I, I see what to do, I think. We got this. Here it comes. We're about to taste victory. There we go. Wait. Do, 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 do. One more? One more. Did it, I think. Augers. Excuse me, horrible enemy. Coming through. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I get debated by a chat member that you had to spin those things and you really don't have to? I need to get some health back. So, so for someone that actually knows what they're talking about, how do you turn the power on?
Well, the water is flowing. Maybe you need to go into the water room. I don't think you do, though. It's not moving. Oh, maybe you need to turn the valve again. Thank you, Moogle. No, someone that actually knows. Thank you, Chi. We already did the bed thing. Thank you. Alright, at this pace, I, I am gonna hate the game again. I have to use the bathroom really quick. One second. Right back while my health regens. The beautiful mechanic. Okay. Energy enjoyers. Ugh. All right, we got this. Boing. Okay, who figured it out? Why? Wait, wait, wait. So matching the beds at the one o'clock position is what gives you power. I feel like everyone's telling me how to get to the room I'm already in. I think I just got one guide is all. I'm just gonna do, I'm pretty sure what I should have did in the first place. Where's this door? Where is this damn door? I thought it was weird how... I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I should just fucking ignore chat when I... God. Or ignore like... Oh, this is how you do what I think. Oh, okay. I'll just trust that one comment. That's a good idea. Totally. No lights on. Well... Wait, where are the bloody beds? Mr. Leander, the video is a hit. Leander, thank you, Madiction. There it is. All right, this is what I was gonna do. <laughs> And then, uh, I was taken on a wild goose chase by some numbskull. Wait. Oh, oops. All right. Um, okay, where's the bloody bed? Uh, no, I've played this game. I actually used to speed run this game. There it is. Uh, wait. Yeah, general rule of thumb. If those are curious, 
which I'm aware 99.9% .9 of you know this already. But, and I'm not, I'm just saying just to avoid future troubles. If a streamer asks for help in a fucking video game, don't guess. Just don't type. Let someone else that actually knows what to do handle it. As opposed to wild guessing. Because then, you end up lost for fucking 20 minutes <laughs> on something that I knew the solution to, but I got fucking gaslighted. Alright. We did it, holy shit. Um, uh, okay. What was this again? Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> what was this again? And then here comes. I think it was one, two, three, four. I think it was zero two zero one eight six, Mr. Soup. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Skeeter. Nine thousand. And thank you for the 18 million year reset. I forgot my coffee. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, that is the embodiment of the fucking... Oh, what's the actor's name meme? Kevin James. That is the embodiment of that. Oh, chat, do you know the solution to this? Ah, Types answer, not sure for a fact. That's, that is them. I think it's one, two, six, eight. Hey, dipshit. It's a fucking word, not a number. Sorry. <laughs> Who's showering in my apartment? All right, we got another red note from our past uh, resident. I found something that's extremely effective against the ghost. It saved my life. It was stuck onto a huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle that has some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry, but somehow it seems to change the response to the ghost victim's power strike when the sword is energized. If you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence. All right. I'm saving it. Boing. Are we supposed to believe it's raining or is someone showering? Okay. was in my shower best world time let's go oh this is the best part of the game actually the next cutscene oh but not this cutscene the next one has the best scream one of the best screams in any game, ever. Oh, I'm so, oh god, I'm doing... I may as well be... Kevin James right now. The best one ever. One of the best.
I may exaggerate from time to time. Shocker alert. Alright, here we go. Listen to this fucking scream. It's better than Gachi and Kendo. Maybe. Here it comes! Richard. Oh, you're a real person. I don't even know how the fuck they recorded that. Hey, you're the guy that lives across from me. Yeah, my name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree from 207. Look at that tie. What the hell's happened to us? That hole in this freaky world. Oh. But if you're here too, then there must be something wrong with the whole apartment building. That must explain bum, what happened bum. to that other guy too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. A journalist. He disappeared one day. So that's the guy's notes we've been getting. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Henry sounds far away anyway, from the mic. Henry's voice acting is so weird in this game. You should too, if you know what's good for you. Wait. Watch out for that kid. <laughs> like... I know that James and Harry, like, they all have weird voices, but Henry's is just like, it just makes no sense to me. It's... Yeah, Harry is a Chad. Henry's just like so nonchalant and monotone about literally, like, it, I, I consider it worse than Ethan. I'll take that. Oh, can I have the sword too? Drink. Or RE70. I think RE Village Ethan's fine. I like how. Okay, my least favorite level in Resident Evil Outbreak, the franchise, is Hellfire. It's an apartment, it's an apartment complex, and it's my least favorite because every single room looks insanely similar. But of course it does, it's an apartment. But that's every level in Silent Hill 4. Every, it's like... It's like the subway is all samey, and then you go to the forest, it's all samey, and then you go to the water... Whatever the fuck it is, it's all samey. And then you go here and it's all samey. And then you go to an actual apartment, and that is the one that's the most different from all of them. Weirdly enough. Uh. Oh. Do, do, do. <gasps> Batter's up? Five iron, any golfers in the chat? Batters up? Any baseballers in the chat? Are you telling me no one plays golf? Sports. No golfers. Four! Would I be good? Thank you, Commander Marks, for the tier three and the 40. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, out of curiosity, one's in the chat if you watch sports on a, like, weekly basis. Yeah. 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 
Oh, that's cool. I figured people that watch a lot of sports would hate me, but I'm glad that they don't. Um, so how was Logan Paul versus, um, the Twitter guy? <laughs> Horrible. I looked at the, I checked the winner because I was curious, but I didn't watch any of the fight. Thank you, Dan, top tier. Thank you. The wife harasser lost. Yeah, I never thought uh, in my entire life, I never thought I'd cheer for Logan Paul for anything. But that guy who was fighting seemed like a awful, awful human being. Which is ironic, because so does Logan. I think this is the way you go. Oh god, get out of here, you fucking floating invincible zombie. It was like the it was like the uh, slogan to Alien vs Predator: Whoever wins, we lose. All right, well, I guess it's not this way. No, I'm not doing blood. I did Bloodborne last year, I think. I do love that game, though. Oops. I find it funny that fighting enemies in this game is... The combat is so bad that fighting enemies is almost a... <laughs> it's almost always... A worse choice. Oh, Eileen's a beast with her purse. Thank you, Sigzy. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what that is. Luto? my coffee I left in the kitchen eventually. Going down. True Omni. Thank you, Mark. Too, huh? Say, you look a lot like a little punk that I once caught sneaking around there. Do you know something about what's going on? Hey, hey Shoot you! the kid! Stop! Shoot the kid! Thank you, Jupiter. Like, here, here's what I want to know. The enemy design. Like, who thought this was... A, like, what is this? Why... Why are these... A, like... It's literally... Like most enemies in the game, it's literally just an annoyance in your way. That you either run into and take damage, or you slowly kill. I just... 
Just don't get it. Umbilical cords. I, is that what they actually are? I would have never guessed. Unhand me, heathen. Move it, balls. Ball for chin. Alright, we got an epic enemy coming up down here. I don't know if it's on the revisit. I think it is. This music sounds like a song from Animal Crossing. So I like it. I don't think I'm going the right way. Pretty sure this is where you go on the revisit. But me oh oh no, we are. Nice, the axe is the best weapon in the game. Alright, let's go call the number. So that tells us to call um the bar. This is a really cool part actually. And the bar is Oh, maybe it isn't the best weapon, but it is for now. The bar's number is... You have to look out the window to find it. Pretty cool. I liked this part of the game. All the stuff in the apartment's really cool. Un until it starts to get... Uh, possessed. I hate that shit. 555-3750. Oh, I wouldn't mind the possessions if it didn't damage you. I just, I, I really don't like the candle stuff. Uh, do we call the right number? What is this? Oh, I thought you sent an Easter egg. Uh oh, now I forget the number. Oh, God damn it, I gotta go check. Is there any Easter egg numbers? Just like I thought. Greco. Three ten thirty thirty Greco. Five 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 three seven five zero. Wait. Wait a sec. Oh, we got shh, shh, shh. Yo, Gatsu. Wait, this isn't what you do. I gotta... I gotta check the note. I didn't read it because I thought I knew what it was. Uh, boss said that the number this time is the last four digits of the source phone number. Oh, yeah! Three seven five oh. Boing. Hello. The Nintendo Hotline. Ah! 
I can't say anything before that happens. That's Enigma's thing. I'm gonna get to see Enigma this this weekend coming for the first time in four years. We're gonna take pictures in our bikinis. I think he's, I'm almost positive he's going to TwitchCon. <laughs> yeah, Enigma should have an OnlyFans. then reverse seared yeah that reminds me I need to get a microwave sometime one day I'm gonna have one I keep going over here by the way because I know a key appears here eventually I just don't remember when looks like another one captain got one one two oh my god God, the graphics here. <whistles> He's definitely seen better days. <laughs> Jesus. Looks like a Roblox character. Yeah, he's the antagonist. But he's just not looking so sharp here. What's everyone doing? Bring, bring. All right. Going in. Going out. What's on the fridge? I don't know. Nothing of interest for Henry. He's going out. It's just the 
This is the apartment section. That's first person. Yo, scary atheist. I think he can peep now. All right, maybe it's next time, actually. Wait. Oh, yeah, first... I think we have enough inventory space, I hope. Oh, it's the apartment. Shit, I thought it was the hospital next. Yeah, that's right. Walter Sullivan. Should have known. Are anyone's ears still ringing from yesterday? I rewatched a little bit of the VOD and it looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? Even at like 10% volume, it was like too much. Yeah. That kid's lucky. All right, guys, defend the Defend the apartment door. I have to finally go get my coffee that I just left the cup in the kitchen. Hey, Skeeters. It was ice cold. I had to put it back on the heat. Thank you, wizard of alcoholism. Ouch. Oh, thank you, Kanji. All right, let's go, people. We love Silent Hill. This from Miss Galvin a long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy holding her mother's hand. Here, I'll give it to you. Enigma sub. I'll take it. Not too shabby. Ah! We always got to pick up the doll. So wait, if you don't pick it up, do you not get a single haunting? Hello. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 0121. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people, but he never finished the job. He was convinced for the murders of 
he was convicted, sorry, for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the seventh and eighth victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. The grisly mass murder of 10 people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? Was he? Guys, was he simply insane? Dryer splayed blood all over the place. It's disgusting, guys. Would I live in this ap apartment? Um, propane stove. More counter space than I have in my current home. This thing sucks ass. Uh, beautiful living room. This changes nothing. Yeah, sure. Here, I give this to you. other game is this atmospheric track from it's really bugging me oh I think it's from welcome to the game Whoa! I don't even know where the hell this key is the dogs are a problem in this hallway The reeds. Oh my god, yeah, it could be. No, it's not. An all stream. No, I have a sponsor later, actually. For, um, what's it called? Lords of the Fallen. I guess I could regen my health. Come on, regen! Doubles those dog speed, yikes. That's good enough. Well... Pretty excited to try Lords of the Fallen. I'm only gonna be playing it two hours though. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not playing the whole game. I'm just doing the sponsor. Where is this damn door? Thank you, John, John, Jonathan. Oh, wait, I think what I need to do is back. Upstairs. Yeah, I heard the PC port isn't the greatest, but I'm really excited to play it. It looks fun. Yo, red cord. So wait. Oh, maybe I have to look into her room. Actually. Oh wait, here we go. Porno magazines.
In the diary? The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist, and he is always investigating stuff. But I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment, and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. Oh, my beautiful Rachel. What's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. He took it along with my clothes. Those are my best clothes. Those are his best clothes. Are the pages sticky? We got it, 105. 106. What's he write? Teaching Despair, Wish House. Wish House is an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organiz organization that's sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take a photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one is willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervent believe that they are among the elite chosen people. They're among the elite chosen people. Has a dark and dangerous side. Oh, oh. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House, but the cult behind it... And the cult behind it, I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. So, that is the guy who lives in my apartment, right? Or who lived there? Wait, wait. Oh, wait. Otaku journalist. My favorite. Go oh, Kotaku. I find it insane that... Like, Kotaku is like, reminds you of like, bot posts on Twitter. Just, they'll get away with anything and everything, and people will click it, so that's why they're still in business. Um... Oops. 106. I love you, Rachel. Mike. It's filled with love letters from Mike to Rachel. That is hot. Look at how many there are, guys. Look. Do you guys write to your significant other like that? One oh five. Excuse me.
There it is. Oh, another one. We got them. 303 is missing. Yeah, my handwriting's fucking horrible. Hello? It's a diary. The red box seems even stranger today. It's giving off a terrible smell. It's disgusting! But I just can't throw it away. It must have been around 30 years ago that young couple was living in the apartment, but one day they just suddenly disappeared. Ran off, just like thieves in the night. I don't know why. It must have been money troubles, or maybe they got themselves into some kind of danger. The problem came after that. They left their newborn baby when they took off. I even found the umbilical cord. Hmm. I called the ambulance right away, and I heard the baby survived. But I don't know what happened to him. Although a few years later, I often saw a young kid hanging around the apartment. One day he just stopped coming by, but now that I think of it, I'll bet he was that abandoned baby. It's a horrible story, abandoning a newborn baby. That all happened in room 302. And the umbilical cord I found there, well, I still can't get myself to throw it away. Damn, girl. Does anyone else still own an umbilical cord? Maybe yours, maybe your... Your kids? Hell no? You have an extension cord, okay. It's not bad. To start. What if, what if the baby was right there getting born? Rachel was the nurse. The apartment complex is actually done well. Numbers that look like a phone number. Yeah. Oh no, why'd I do that? Now what room is it in guys? What if you were right there? The, the the child was born and the doctor said, would you like to keep the umbilical cord? And the kid was like, w uh, waiting, waiting to hear your answer. Would you say no then? It's in room. No one knows. No one knows what room. Chat, I thought you liked Silent Hill 4. Chat, where? My god, a bunch of fake fans in here. Oh, God. I'm gonna kick this chip sandwich. Ooh, thank you, Cold, for the gifted sub. Most of chat is fake. Is that true? It sounds like it's in here. I mean, it's probably in that guy's apartment that we checked earlier. Oh wait, no it's not. Oh, this part. Wish. Love that enemy. Wow. 
wow. A dead cat. Da Whoa! I'm looking for it, guys. I'm looking for it. No one in chat knows what room it's in because no one likes this game. Oh, get the fuck out of here, Mr. Invincible Enemy. I gotta go. Fuck. No, never mind. No, uh, let me go put these pieces pieces of paper under the thing. So I need some inventory space. Just a minute. There's really no point in fighting. You'll probably take more damage from fighting than you will not fighting. The combat in this game is terrible. Thank you, Skitty. Thank you so much. You no, know, let's use our pistol. We have so much ammo. I'll find it. Well, the combat is terrible in every Silent Hill, but the difference is the enemies are fucking horrible in this game. So the combination of the two does not really work well. Not to mention the main enemy in the game, this one that's chasing us, is invincible. And he's back, baby. Move, fuck. No, I like the janky combat of Silent Hill. Combat isn't really the problem, it's more so the enemies. But yeah, it is worth it. Like, to kill those dogs, like, it is worth it. They're not tanky. I just don't feel like doing it. Because... That means we play the game for a longer period of time. The phone! No, it's not this one.
a putter. Last hallway. Oh, it got louder in here. It's gotta be in this hall. Any items? Fuck it! We got it! There's no one there. Oh, ha ha! 107. He listens to great music. I feel sorry for him having to live under brain trees. See, this stuff is cool. Like, this is really cool. Painting of two adults and a lot of children. Room, the memo says 206. So now you can correlate these paintings and these people and then go to the rooms and see, like, what kind of person they were. So, they actually, it's funny. They actually made the one, like, repetitive place work and then the rest of the areas just feel repetitive self-portrait Rachel or whatever her name is at least she's been be bothered by a stalker I wonder who that was painting of a plump woman she's always eating something but I wish my girlfriend liked to cook like her Wow, misogynistic pig. All right, anyway, a nice, sweet old couple. A woman holding a cat. She loves cats too much and missed her chance to get married. I kind of, misogynistic pig. I kind of felt sorry for her while she was mourning for one of her dead cats. Oh, there's more. A man drinking alcohol, 203. Oh, 203. He's so noisy. I wish he would stop all the drinking and fighting. Man with a gun, 101. Gun maniac. He's always coughing from his cat allergy. Richard, this makes you want to live in an apartment. Imagine. Well, I know the day and age we live in, you could live in an apartment and not know a single solitary person that lives there with you. But back in the day, 207, Braintree, that prick. He's always yelling at kids, especially that weird one that hangs around. But he took Mike into his apartment and peeled his skin off, so he's my hero. Yeah, a man holding a porno magazine, 301, it's right beside us. That perverted stalker, he got what he deserved. Oh, that's Mike. Sunderland, the superintendent, superintendent. The super mistakenly thought that Mike was Rachel's lover. Must be the guy who plays video games. He always, he's always shut in his room. It looks like he has lots of weird interests. I heard he tape recorded Mike getting beaten up by Richard. That's me!
Imagine dying in this section and having to redo it all. Actually, you know what? I don't want to imagine that. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Ooh, fuck boys. The invincible enemy, run! I love Silent Hill f f f f f before. I love Silent Hill f f f f before. Silent Hill 4, baby. Mm hmm. Go, Rich. Go, go. That emote's awesome. Oh. Ba -ba One fifty nine. Look at all these, look at all this lore. I hope you picked them up in order. Oh yeah, and I, oh no. <gasps> look near the bed. Lost the key, yeah. It was four years ago that they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away, I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years. Having committed suicide three years before the murder, the police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. Something about it bothered me. He's back. He's killing from the grave. Rachel, love you. Always watching. Window. Mike. I picked up the key that Eileen from room 303 must have dropped. I thought I'd return it, but she wasn't home. I guess I'll give it to the super. Classic. Nice! No rights, Nick. I hope you enjoy it. Um, yeah, I probably will. I think what I'm gonna do with the plushies is release a, a, a October one. So, a festive, like, get some cool lights around it, make it, like, tree-like, and get a Santa chicken, and then in next, early next year, I will re-release the original, most likely. Because it has been requested a million times. Enter hole with improvements? <laughs> Can't improve perfection. Wait, I forgot to get the key. Yeah, I said, yeah, no, we like remakes. I'm going to remake it. But with less content, we're going to take the beak away. Um, I'm going to make it smaller. Holdren DLC. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'll just give you guys the torso. You have to order them separate. Move it, Granny. Ah! 
You damn kid. And your bullshit. I love the last two notes of that song. I wish... I wish it went in there. That it went off there. Um, how long is this game? So we're at like almost the halfway point at this point. Oh, a rare card. I don't think I can protect myself. He's truly insane. I can't hold on any longer. His power can't be measured. I was so scared today that I sealed off the back of the storage room. I wonder if Eileen Galvin is okay. She has no idea what's going on. But she's in danger nevertheless. She's in danger. She's lived there. She's lived through two of these. The suck, Ubis. Yeah. Um. Oh, I've never done a lore marathon for this game. Maybe before Silent Hill 2 Remake or something. But I'm not good at lore stuff. I need chat's help. Thank you, Condor. Yeah, I could do that. Unlike the Resident Evil uh, lore review videos, this one would take a week. Resident Evil 1 took like an entire month. We'll check the bunny. Ah! <laughs> Alone in the dark, a new nightmare. No, 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 no. Maybe before the new Alone in the Dark game comes out. If a new game and an old franchise comes out, I'll marathon the games.
It's burping time. Get out of there. Oops, I should have deposited my other weapons and stuff. Oh, this weapon sucks, I think. Wait, one's in the chat if you've never seen this game, because there's definitely at least someone in here who hasn't. I lost Eileen Galvin's hospital room key. She was a patient brought in, brought in with severe injuries. I wonder if it l I left it in one of the other hospital rooms. I really hope not. Oh, cool. Some of you are lying, but there's a lot of you who probably aren't. Oh. Oh. Banger alert. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Sham. Yeah, let me remind chat, when you get surprised and think everyone's lying when they say they haven't seen Silent Hill 4, let me remind you that when Dead by Daylight announced Pyramid Head, most of chat put question marks and said, who? No, I shouldn't say most of chat, but a large portion of it. Silent Hill isn't as big as people think it is. Since there hasn't been a new game, there hasn't been a good new game in like 20 years. <laughs> Like, this franchise has been irrelevant since Silent Hill 3. Oh yeah, PT. PT has definitely brought it back into the light. And then they cancelled it. Yeah, this was the last good one. Yep. See, the very fact that this game can be called good tells you enough about the rest of the games. Like, why are these enemies even in this game? I find it weird when devs just do something like to annoy the player. I didn't, I didn't mind Origins. Yeah. 
Downpour is off the fucking chain. Where the hell is the fucking save room? Is here? Yeah, Shattered Memories. Dude, I wish they would re-release Shattered Memories. That game does not have a good port. What annoys me is I think Shattered Memories is decent. But man, like the Wii version, most people say is the best, but it drops insane frames every single time you touch a door. Like, God, I wish they would just... I wish they would just release it on PC and like current gen. Does this game take to beat normally? Probably like eight or more hours. I used to speedrun this game, so I know what to do a lot of the time, but I got did get debated earlier and spent way too long on a section. All right, guys, what's it gonna be? Oh wait, do, do I need a key for this? Oh yeah, we need to find the key first. All right, so this, oh, okay, in the speed run, this is the worst part in the run. It's complete RNG. So we already got bad RNG. You want to find the key in the first room and then find Eileen in the second room. So the more you do, the worse RNG it is. So like that's bad. R yeah, you want, it's called, the good RNG is called L1, R1. So you go into the left room once, the first left room and the first right room. And then you get the key and save Eileen. So, all right, L2. Nope, R2. Uh, oh! L, R3. There's some cool rooms in this, and there's one room if we find that I'm going to uh, make my lunch, because it's the perfect room to AFK in. It's pretty bad luck so far. Alright, I'll be right back. Gentlemen, what do you think of the room? Silent Hill 4, The Room. This is the room they were talking about, by the way. Oh, here, I don't want to disturb you guys. All right. Let's get out of here, I guess. Oh shit. Did we go in this one already? Yep. All right, come on. Damn it. What if we get worst RNG? Oh, the goop. Oh. Oh, this isn't it. Uh, sorry, it looks similar. Nope. Oh my god. Oh! Yes! We got the key! Alright, now we... Now we just need to... find the locked room.
next door. What are you doing here? I don't... I don't know where to start. There was this strange hole in my room. I saw people getting killed. All these weird other worlds. And I saw you get attacked too. What are you talking about? I'm supposed to believe that? But it's true. And there was a kid with you. Henry's got less emotion than Ethan. Uh, I don't know either. But I do know that if you get killed here, then you die in the real world too. Anyway, the only way out of here is through that hole. Okay. Okay, take me with you. Now this is where the game gets fucking awesome. You thought Ashley was bad? All right. For those who haven't played the game, <clears throat> I'm not even lying to you right now. This is a nightmare. It can't be Here's what you do. Here's the rest of the game. Not even kidding. Sounds like a joke. You go back to every single level that we just did. Back to the fucking forest, the subway, the water tower, the apartment, and the whatever the hell that place is with the monkeys. And you redo it all as an escort mission, and it's... And, even if it wasn't an escort mission, the revisits are all worse. And it drove me insane. This is the first October game I ever quit back like seven years ago or something. Uh, I used to, I told this at the start of the stream, but I'll tell it again. Because it's three hours later. I made a point every October that I would finish every game I started. I typically do anyway. Uh, like during October. And on year two, I played Silent Hill 4 blind playthrough. It was the first game I ever couldn't finish. I just, it would sicken me. I couldn't believe that you had to redo the same areas. Like, the areas are shit. The subway sucks. The forest sucks, in my opinion. And then, for me to think, I, in my head, I was like, all right, cool. We have Eileen. That's fine. I don't mind escort things. I can't wait to see the next area. And then when we got to the subway, it hit me. Oh boy, are we gonna just redo every area again? And yes, you redo every area again. Thank you, General Wiggins. Oh, I gotta give her her purse. There we go. She's got her purse. She's gonna fucking slam some shit around. Wait, is she even with us? Thank you, Beef Gray! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Really appreciate it. Shit, I don't know what to do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Miss Lady Zero.
It is still coming. I could show you guys. Well, okay. I, I don't want to show you guys the design because it's not done yet. But I've I've said before since it, since the design's so late. Um, it is the it's the chicken. It's RE4 Mercs. It's Krauser, Leon, Ada, and Wesker all chickened in the mercenaries uh, style uh, format. It's coming probably tomorrow. And I'll probably keep it out for a while, um, just because it's so late. Eileen, she's gone. Oh, hell yeah, Mrs. Cosplay. Yo, Twitter mom. Drink that out. There was a couple drops in there. There's still a couple drops. Look. Mmm. I'm out of water. Okay, I can only watch a man get up for so long. The air in the room feels heavy. Uh-oh. So it begins. We're gonna get haunted. Alright, so if you're new to the game, you get hauntings in your apartment. Cool. Love that shit. They drain your health. Okay? Don't love that shit. To get rid of the hauntings, you need to use candles. But here's the kicker. You also need candles to use on Eileen, or you get bad ending. So... Ah. We got a note. We got a note. It's an envelope with a key. <gasps> uh, I'll try to get good ending. Um, you've seen that world as well. That horrible nightmare. But if you get sucked into it, it's not just a nightmare. Don't get lost in there. If you get pulled in, you'll be killed. <gasps> but there's still hope. Maybe this small key will guide you. If you've seen the door with the placard set in it, look on the other side of the door. Then keep going down to the deepest part of him and look for the ultimate truth. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you, and Beef Grave in general. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Laura. Thank you for all the resubs, everyone. By the way, the plushie is still on sale. I didn't say this today. Um, so if you do want the chick, the zombie chicken, um, we've sold around 730 or so. And the first 800 get shipped in October. And then if you order after that, it ships, well, whenever it can. But 800 of those are already pre-made. So that's why they get shipped so quickly. Eileen! Oh, Henry! Hey, buddy. Thank you, Supernoid. Oh. It's epic. Uh, have you been here the whole time? Thank you for the year. Yeah? And I didn't see any hole, either. You just disappeared all of a sudden. I can't stay here by myself. I'll be cursed. You know it. What am I gonna do? I might know a way to save you. Do you know about someone named Joseph? Um, yeah. He, he was the guy who lived in your apartment before you. I think he was a journalist or something. months before you moved in, but toward the end, he started acting really weird. Yeah, he was doing an investigation about a religious cult and a man named Walter Sullivan. I got this letter from him. He told me to go down, down into the deepest part of him and to look for the ultimate truth. That's cool, Supernoid. Let's do that. There must be something down there. Let's do that. Okay. I'll do it. You're the only chance I've got. I'll stay. 
stick with you. What if in the remake she's in a full body cast? And like she has to like like a wooden doll, she has to like just bounce toward you. <sighs> Ladies? Is Eileen even with us? Dude! Oh, okay. Beat that oh. Beat them up, Eileen. Use your purse. Alright, this is the best part of the game. Back up, Eileen. This is the best part of the game, guys. Are you ready? Ready? We're gonna make this one go flying. Nope. Shit. Turn around. Eileen went in there. Get him, Eileen! That sound she makes when she hits things. Yeah! Get him, Eileen. Uh oh, it's not good when she loses health. And we're off. Come on, Eileen. You can fix her with Eileen, a candle. You're going too fast. Sorry. Ah, here's one. The holy candle. Oh. Oh, it's this one. Come on, Eileen. Let's go, Skeeter. God, I forget what the mission is this time around. I know in the speedrun you ditch her somewhere. But I, I think it's here, actually. But... She'll get really low health. Oh, wait, we need to go back and get the coins from the frickin' apartment. I like that they only place these leeches I by. If Joseph is still alive. 
I like that the only place those leeches by areas that you need to press the action button to go in, but you can't press the action button if there's a leech below you. Ah, genius. Uh-oh. We got a haunting. I'm not regening health. But I'm losing health. All right, so we can get rid of this. If we use the candle. Oh. Look at my health. Wait, I think we should regen now that Wait a sec, do you just flat out not regen even if there's no haunting? It never regens. Ah, it's all coming back to me. What a great game. <laughs> yeah, this game is not kind of first playthroughs at all. I am regenning, look. Or does the amp will give you a hot after? And a toy key inside. Mummy, I give you this, so please wake up soon. Wait, so if you get rid of the curse, can you regen? Or was that the ample? Uh, I found two mysterious and powerful artifacts. That seemed to be very effective for evading the ghost victims. The Holy Candle and the Saint Medallion. Um, not only are they effective against the ghost victims in the other world, they also seem to prevent them from invading my room. Just light the candle near where they're coming in and the holy power is activated. Yep. Yo, mm -hmm. Harley. Yeah, Failmore, I, I say that about a lot of games. There is a lot of games out there that are great, but have a bad rep, because, or I'm not saying this is great, but it is definitely better on the second playthrough. All right, we need to, we need to lose her here, I think. I need to give her the old bump. <gasps> One of those, yeah. Got her! Go, go, go! He's sickened.
No, 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 no. What? <gasps> Wait. What? Why? He's invincible too, by the way. Thanks, Eileen. Why can't I use the fucking coin? Do I have to go this way first? Dude, this is so dumb. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, we need to ditch her in one of these rooms. If you want good ending, you really have to, um... You have to make sure Eileen doesn't take too much damage. Where is she? Yeah, but does that... I don't think... I'm pretty sure it it's like Yeah, but does healing I don't think healing with a candle like let's say I let her get fucking beat to a pulp and I never use one candle on her. I don't think you could just dump one on her at the end and you get good ending. I'm pretty sure she stays like there's a there's a limit. Like the sorry, I'm just trying to say there's no like magic trick. <gasps> if you don't I forget how to do it. Like if she gets beat up too much, she's she's a goner. As far as I'm aware. I think I'm no I'm no pro, but I think it's best to use handles as you play through the game to make sure she does. I'm pretty sure. Sorry, I'm I'm saying this horribly. Like, let's say she gets hit 50 times. I'm pretty sure at like the 30th hit, there'll just be like a permanent like she's never going below that point ever again. I think that's how it works. I don't quote me on that, but. Ah, shit. The thing I like about Ashley compared to Eileen is she actually stays with you. <laughs> Eileen could just get... Like, Eileen is so slow. But, uh, on the flip side, she can attack things, which is nice. I can't use a ladder with my arm like this. Oh. Yeah, she'll become bloodier and bloodier. It's honestly a hard thing to tell. I think it's just one of those things that... Or this is how I see the Eileen stuff. It's just one of those things that, like, I think everyone has an idea how it works, but no one knows exactly how it works. 
Uh oh. Um. We got a piece of paper. A few days after Walter killed himself in his cell, several residents witnessed a long haired man with a coat here, with a coat here. Through his window, Richard Braintree in 207 saw the man moving something heavy and doing something in room 302. Even Sunderland, the superintendent, saw the man with the coat hanging around room 302 and confirmed there were signs of someone having been in there. Oh. Something like that, Alex, yeah. Alright, so I think we go use this coin on a vending machine. Yeah, it, well, the reason I mentioned, like, it's something that not everyone knows, I bet that even the wiki doesn't have full information. You're gonna have to look up some, like, some crazed fans YouTube. This isn't the way. Be invincible enemy. Henry gets a bad ending if you don't clear the hall the hauntings. That's fucking insane. Cause you need you need candles for Eileen too. Okay. So... This looks like South Ashfield Station. Oh, <gasps> fuck. I think we have to take her with us over here. Actually, I don't know where to go. I don't know how to get... I, I th God, I think you need to take her back up and then down again. I don't really know. Ooh, nice. I hate the revisits so much. Because every level is like, how do you get Eileen to where you want to go? Eh. I think we have everything we need. Oh. 
Running out of dev time equals revisit level. That's why I don't, um... I don't say kind things about this game, because... You need to take her down this escalator, but maybe you need to go up first. I think you need to go up first, and then you take her down. But... Like, when actual decent games make you revisit a level, they completely change it. I'll use a only... I'll use a arguably decent game. Oh, uh, uh, well, how about Code Veronica? Even those revisits, I don't like those revisits either, but they at least change the game slightly. These revisits, you're retreading the same area, and they added a couple items here and there, and that's about it. Hmm. I came in here to save it. Or Skyward Sword. Like, I love revisiting one of the levels in Skyward Sword and the entire place is flooded. This is simply just... You're back. <laughs> Do a very similar thing and while you're at it, go FUCK YOURSELF! Oh boy, here we go. Here we go, people. Uh. What? That extended hitbox. Oh, the double. God, this enemy's great. And don't anyone fucking say it to Just killed him. That was easy. Then we gotta go down with Eileen. Dude! Oh god. What's this? Yeah, see, this is why you wanna leave Eileen up here. So now we gotta go get Eileen. Oh no. I did this terribly. I have to take her through the goddamn train again. And that is why this is a bad first playthrough game. Because people will go through exactly what I'm doing right now. This is, isn't my first playthrough, but... I'm doing noob stuff. Oh wait, no, no, no. We can just go get her on the side. We just go down this this instead. We don't have to go. Oh, was there an item? Oh wait, yes we do have to go. Because the, the, the freaking stairs are blocked. Let's go get Eileen. <laughs> I am Ven, I hope you're doing well. That shit. Oh my god, she can actually wreck you pretty hard. She's a bit scary. What's my health at? All right, we got Eileen back in a second here. Wait, she's on the other side. Oh wait, no. I don't want to risk it because it's limited inventory. Shit, we need the... I need to go back to the apartment again. Yo, Tofu. That's Origins.
Shit, I want to use the pistol, but... For some reason, they stack the ammo in tens. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, there's... The limited inventory is ridiculously dumb. But the reason they did it is because they couldn't actually think of a good way for the player to go back to the apartment. To see all the work the devs put in. So they're like, let's just make the inventory ridiculously limited. Okay, back we go! Um, I'll play Alan Wake 2, and I might play Mar- wait, what's the release date for Mario Wonder again? Yeah, hotel. Oh, that's one. Never mind. I'll be at Toshcon. Switch cons in October. I have to go a day early too because my flight's so long. And the odds of. It's, I'm flying from Canada, so the odds of making it there without a flight delay and going the next day are low. Flying here sucks ass. Come on, Eileen. All right, let's let's use our bottle too. All right, Eileen, let's go. Oh. Oof. <gasps> Was there an item in here? Thank you. We need that. I'm gonna see if there's any healing over here. I don't explore often, by the way. Well, get the game over with faster, but... More so... You see I complained about the limited inventory? But it's not really a problem this playthrough. Casually, it's a huge problem. I'm just not pick out, picking up any items or killing anything in the game, really. Okay, let's go. I don't know if they can hit Eileen. I can't remember. Move, Eileen. Ooh, 
Move Eileen. The spam! I love when they do that. Fuck this. I'm just... I'll take the bad ending. This is... This is unbearable. Could go save it, but oh god! I let's just hope that we don't get wrecked here. Because if I go save it, then Eileen gets even more wrecked. Okay, all these enemies are invincible, so. Oh look who's in our way! Oh boy! Come on, Eileen. All right, we gotta give her a, a candle, I think. Uh-oh. Oh, thank you for the tier two, by the way, Ben. Thank you. Um, no, Agent. It's better just to run by. Oh, she is hurting. Shit, I, I, I only, I have one candle back in the save room. Uh, wait right here. No, she can't die, but she'll get beaten up enough that you get bad ending. I just, like, this is so... The whole candle thing is just... The Eileen mechanic is just too strange, like... This just seems like it's not working, and there's there's not a real way to tell if it's working later. Like, you could see her, her scars are slowly disappearing, but it's like, is she fully healed? It looks like she is, but I, I think in reality she isn't. But we'll wait for the whole candle to burn out, because... Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! We need to top her off. Give the old top off. Alright, are you good, Eileen? Talk to us. Are you good? Talk to us! I asked if you were good. I think only once I didn't get, well, twice I didn't get good ending. 
Her leg hurts. <laughs> Her leg hurts. I played the new Silent Hill. New? Oh yeah, here we go. All right, so for this one, we need to light the holy flame. Oh my god. And we need to find pieces of a mannequin. While we get chased by Walter and the actual enemies that are here. Eileen? Yeah, look, now she- look, 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 this is the- we're- yes, it's all coming together. Now, I just healed her, and she's like super damaged. She's more damaged than she's ever been right now. But we don't have a- we don't have a candle anymore. And look, Walter just teleported in front of me? Okay. Like, God, this fucking game, dude. I don't have a heal either. Amazing. Get up, Eileen! Oh, if I die, I'm, I'm... Fuck it, I'll just have to take bad ending or something. Oh, here comes Walter. Shit. I didn't save it! One HP. So, here, now Eileen is truly fu- like... <sighs> did we save it though? We might have saved it, I don't know. I don't think we did. If there's a haunting in our way to the save though, I might die. God, carrying around the purse is like such a waste. But her attacking things is funny. Yikes. This is where the game gets unbearably bad, in my opinion. Before I read the same old thing when you call any game people like that, oh, you just gotta use the, uh, you haven't used the candles right. You haven't used the medallions right. Even if, even if I did, it's still shit! Now let's go save our hero, Eileen. If she is kneeling down, we're f fucked. We got Walter on us. Bro. At least Walter isn't here. Good timing. She's looking good. Alright, so in this level, you sort of want to just ditch her in this room for the whole level. I can 
read this writing? It looks like some kind of a diary. How like also, it's like how 15. Like Bob dude, it's gone. Come over Nobody here, you fuck. Tell me what happened. I bet he did it. Andrew. <gasps> Get over by the <gasps> stupid candle, you numbskull. Why couldn't she just have health? I know, such a concept. All right. Everything's like insert thing fucks you out of the good ending. Well. No, I really don't know. I, I don't know. Like, yeah, when she's alone, when she's getting hit, yada yada yada. Uh, when your house is too fucked over. It's the guy from, from the first visit. He's coming for us. It's so annoying though that we left her in that room for like maximum 10 seconds and she went from full health to like dead. Like why? Why, why, why did she like insta die when I left? There are some heals. Oh, there's one. I haven't played Silent Hill Origins in forever. There's one specific thing that makes me so mad about Silent Hill Origins, but it's not really a huge deal. That game needs. That game truly needs a new like. I wish Silent Hill Origins was on current gen, because I don't even think it's a bad game. Well, the thing I don't like about Origins is the film grain is really, really harsh in that game. Okay? That's not a major problem. Alright, I'm not complaining about the film grain per se. You can turn it off, but only if you've beaten the game first. So you have to have a new game plus save file. Like, who hides graphics behind... <laughs> who hides graphics behind that shit? The game looks severely worse with it on. And, like, it looks... It looks... Well, it's just, you know, the film grain is very, very apparent with it on. And with it off, it's like HD. It's just so strange. I don't know why they did that. And, like I said... I, I'm fine with film grain. It's just that in that particular game, the film grain is very strong. Looks like a freaking puppet combo game. Well, a puppet combo game when you have VHS filter turned on. Yo, Republic. That's nice we got two heals. I'm actually having fun with this playthrough. Don't let my bitching and moaning make you think I... Well, I don't hate this game, but I don't think it's a good game. Hmm. Is there a torch in here? Oh, there is. But, um...
Yeah, well, that's the thing. I think the story is awesome. Everything else, though, is pretty shit. <gasps> oh, baby! Excuse me, Eileen. Uh oh, she's gonna be with us, I think. We got her. Another health drink. Yeah, Spider Man looks awesome. Oh, the pickaxe. Very powerful. Guys, are you Walter Sullivan? Hey, Slugger. That's what everybody calls me, but I don't really have a name or a home either. Well, what about a mom or dad? Yeah, but I never met them. They left South Ashfield Heights right after I was born. But soon I'll get to see my mom. Do you know where she is now? Yeah, of course. Right where I was born. Lots of people tried to stop me. But it's fine now. It says in the scriptures that I'll be with her. I gotta hurry. Mom's waiting. Who do you guys think his mom is? See you, Stealth. The room? That's crazy. That's crazy talk. To the... To the room. My apartment is fucked. Uh, you know what? Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save it. We got a letter. We got a letter. My theory is that Walter never died at that prison. It may have been someone else who committed suicide. Either that or the person the police arrested was not the real Walter Sullivan. I'm in no position to investigate what really happened at the prison, but in any case, Walter didn't die at the prison. The man with the coat that showed up here was the real Walter. Seven years ago, he did something in that apartment. I'm certain there's a link between that and the bizarre things that have been happening here. Just a little bit more and I'll have this whole thing figured out. I may even find that the real Walter is somewhere nearby. Somewhere nearby, he says. Walter! You home?
Yo, alt. We're just playing the beautiful Silent Hill 4. What console is Book of Memories even on? Oh, God. Is the emulator for Vita good? Here. Stand still. Getting better. Is every floating mob in this game immortal? Yep. See, like, she's definitely, right now, she's definitely at some point of no return. As I was saying earlier. So I don't even know if that candle really healed her at all. Hard to say. Um, something's here, but nothing's here. I feel something from the well. Oh. Okay, I'm missing, missing one thing. I think it's this way? Wait, is it this way? Oh no, I'm, oh wait, no, the big rock is there, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not this way. It's the other way. Run away from her. Hey, a chain. Bug bastards. Walter's on our case! Run! Thank you, Kiri. Probably next year, Alt. Go, 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 go. Excuse me, sir. All right. And take your leg, little mister. Um, it's exclamation mark. There it is. Thank you, Red. Oh, here he goes. Going for another one. Watch out! Some kind of Bible, uh-oh. The Descendant of the Holy Mother. All right. 
All right, Mambo. Dumbo. Dumbo. Could this be Silent Hill Wood? Yep. Yep. Let's go, Eileen. Yep. She said that once we were out of the woods. Eileen's these days. All right, the water tower. Hmm, what do you even do here? What's the point of the revisit? I can't even remember. Uh oh. Oh, now I remember. Please don't leave me alone. Hurry it up, Skeeter. You coming, bro? Look, she's even more injured. We haven't even like I haven't been separated from her since I used the candle. That's that's what I don't get. Like, look, she is fucking totaled right now, and we haven't even been this separated. This is just horrible. Like, how did she get hurt so bad? I don't I don't understand. One of the many mysteries of this game. One of the many many mysteries of Silent Hill Four. We're back. <gasps> Better save it. Last time I played this? Uh, I'm not sure. A long while back. So we need one of the swords. And then we need the pistol, which we have. Or is it the revolver? What uses the silver bullet? Because I know we need that. Revolver, pistol. All right, someone that actually knows. I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned so far about Walter Sullivan. You guys ready? Chat? He was born right here in room 302 of South Ashfield Heights. His parents abandoned him soon after, words, and disappeared somewhere, leaving the baby alone. He was discovered and sent to St. Jerome's Hospital. He was adopted by Wish House, an orphanage in the forest near Silent Hill that's run by the secret Silent Hill religious cult. When he was six years old, someone from the cult showed him where he was born. Since then, he started to believe that room 302 itself, in other words, this room, was his mother. Every week, he traveled from the orphanage to South Ashfield Heights, a pretty long trip for a kid his age. Sometimes he took the subway and sometimes the bus. I'm tired. My headache is killing me. I'll write more tomorrow. God, that note was fucking sick. All right, come on, Eileen. I should have ditched the... Woohoo! Oh my! Walter, come on, man. Hurry up, Eileen. 
All right, I know a place where you can keep Eileen in this, which is nice. Uh oh, here comes Walter. Oh, I should have taken a melee weapon. Shit. There's bugs everywhere. Mine, bro, but you don't hear me complaining. Now let's go. This is where you quit. I think this is where I quit the game the first time, too. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Mommy? <sighs> Mommy? Mommy! Now where, oh where is the um... I better kill these guys. Oh, well, we don't have the ammo. She. Shit, I. It's so damp and gross here. And God, I'm sick. Oh, fuck. Good thing is in this level you could just ditch her in that room. Uh. Ow. Uh. See, yeah, she is Omega possessed, but like, I just used a candle on her. Uh. We got a candle for her. I just feel like I'm playing the exact same game. I, I feel like we're doing our second playthrough right now. But someone took a shit on it. Where's the other one? Up real high. You're next, Eileen. Come here. Work your magic, Candle. Work your magic. Thank you, Rabino. Thank you, thank you. Look, guys, she's she's all good. Look, I haven't seen her look this good in ages. <laughs> I love that. That that's using the speed run, by the way. Where you just give her a little nudge in that room and bada bing bada boom, you're out. Shark! You know what? Fuck you!
Oh. Oh, come on! Where was the ref on that one? I like candles. Uh, excuse me. Hey! Try to pick up the goddamn candle! Thank you. Ah! There's three! There's four! <laughs> Is that it? Alright, I'm out of here. Guy had his doolies out. Well. Wait, I could use those pistols. Um, I don't think I've played Mystic Knights. your console went out the window. I'm so happy to hear from you guys in the chat every few minutes since we picked up Eileen that this is the part where you quit. I love it. I respect you guys. You you, you didn't want to do it. Silent Hill is one of your favorite franchises of all time. You couldn't believe there's in no reality is the fourth game bad enough that you're gonna quit. No way. It, it can't be. It can't be. This is Silent of the fucking hill. This, th but you, you respect yourself enough. You, t you said to yourself, no, I'm better than this. Just because the name Silent Hill and Konami doesn't mean they're allowed to shit in my mouth. I'm turning the game off. Uh, all right, let's go this way. Yeah, I love the- now, now don't quote me on this, but man, I love the design of that enemy. It's so good. Huge stick that wiggles, and you either waste your time and fucking hit it with your weapon, if you have one, shoot it, or walk through it, and it does damage to you. You know what it reminds me of? Every single other goddamn enemy in the game. Oh, I have the torch. All right, it's whipping time. What's this? Oh, one of the amulets. That's good. Oh, I'm not salty. I'm just making fun of a bad game. All right. I'm, I'm half memeing. Well, I don't think this is a great game, but I don't hate it. I'm just sort of memeing. But it really goes to show, no one's even trying to defend it. I can't believe we used both of those goddamn heals. It's all me. All right, so I think, oh, we can use our medallion, so let's actually ditch the torch and get a real, oh, do we have the silver bullet? No. Let's take the axe. So... Go medallion! Come on! 
do it! Who else is next? Get out of here, mold. Wait, it didn't... Oh. Bonk. Scammed, yeah. I think that's just religious mumbo jumbo. What's going on outside? What's wrong with that lady? Did we need anything? Oh yeah, we need to wash this. You gotta wash that shirt. Let's get washing. You soaked the prisoner's shirt in the puddle of blood. My room is on the second floor and I had to drink something with black things in it. I hid the sword with the triangle handle under my bed. That guy, the fat one, took the basement key. Next time I'll stick this triangle sword into the pig and take the key. You, do you need the silver bullet for this boss guy? I don't, I think we missed the silver bullet, didn't we? Oh, you do, okay. Oh, so you don't. The second floor. Oh, score, dude. Scourge. Scourge. Please don't don't follow. I could change. Scourge. Whoa, the shadow. It's like an enemy. Here he comes! A beautiful singing voice. Is, is the... Is the uh, silver bullet in with the sword? Prepare for the ritual! Last time! Just kidding, we're ditching. We're ditching. What? This? Leave her alone, you! Why does everything have to respawn? Why is everything immortal in this game? Like... <gasps> nah, I think she's full health right now. I know she looks fucked up, but I think she's at that threshold where she's gonna look fucked up forever at this point. Gentlemen. Is this the bed? Oh wait, it says he was drinking some black shit. Uh, gentlemen. Ladies. Oh! What are you doing? It 
It's like the guy from the jail in South Hill 2. Except they use it way too often. <laughs> this is it. Sword? What about the bullet? Wait, does anyone know where the silver bullet is? What's these microbes on the wall? Picking my nose a lot. That's me! Oh, it was in the subway world. Oh. Thank you, Lambie. Forest, subway, and hospital. Oh. Now the chat says it. Now the chat. Okay, if we're stuck here, this is on you guys. Right, wait here, Eileen. Chat was just wa oh, <laughs> look, he's walking by the silver bullet. <laughs> That's gonna bite him later. <laughs> I do like the, the Twitch, the, uh, where else but Twitch, where I'm doing like my 40th playthrough of this game. Not one backseat comment. First playthrough though. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, Buck. All right. I hope this is enough. He's pretty tanky. All right, let's do this, baby. Oh, I know. It, it's it's not it's not this community, by the way. It's Twitch in general. It's like streamers, like you guys, feel free to backseat. I want all the help I can get. I want everyone. Everyone has to backseat. That'd be amazing. Thank you so much. Um, like literally anything, please. All right, guys, this is my first playthrough. Please don't give me any tips, hints, or spoilers. All right, Eileen, stay right there. <laughs> God, I love that trick. Oh, he's below us and he's draining our health. Oh, yeah. This boss sucks I ass. First boss in the game. There he is. right there.
Oh, this is enough to make you want to fucking vomit. Like, look at this! Look at this! Like, oh my god, it's so bad. Kill the little tentacles! It'd be fine if there was no tentacles like every two steps. Back here. Dude, just fucking aim at him. I have no ammo. Sick. The silver bullet, by the way, he dies in one hit. This is so stupid. We beat we beat him all the way into the fucking first of the level. I'm dead. Okay. Someone told me about any of the fucking silver bullets. Thank you again, Court and Bino, for the resubs. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be <gasps> fucking painful. It's like the the major problem here is the stew you have to like you either sit around and do nothing and wait for him to come back every time you hit him or you go around and clear all these guys out while he beats the fuck out of you. Well, you can stun lock him, but every zombie in this game AK the common enemy drains your health when you're close to them. So he doesn't even have to hit you, you just die. So if you're in melee range, you're dying. Look who it is. Alright, let's take him all the way back. Actually, maybe we could just put him in this corner. Was there an earthquake? Thank you again, Lisa. Do, 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 do. Is he here or is he below me? actually leaving?
Oh, finally. Yeah. Use the sword. We got him. Woohoo! Yeah, Skeeter. He still wins because I have no ammo left. Yeah. I think I have some ammo in the in the box. No, that wasn't too bad. Unlock him in the corner wasn't too bad. That's how they get to Yoshi, by the way. It looks so good. I want to play it so bad. Then you actually play it. And then you're like, oops. Oops. I'll go back to looking. Watching people blind play through this though is a guilty pleasure, but not many people I follow haven't played it at this point. I was proud of Runebee. She rage quit right when you get Eileen. Is this even healing her at this point? I don't know. I think she's at full health already. That's her getting healed. Kevin James. I'm pretty sure we just wasted a candle. She's less bloody now. Yeah, Let, let's let's go into the next room and walk a few steps and see what happens. She is less bloody, like her back isn't destroyed. Now we're gonna make sure she doesn't get hit. Candle seemed to do the trick, actually. I'm not excited to fight Walter with zero heals, which I think we're headed towards. The fight can be a pain. It's just unnormal. I would not play this game on hard. I get annoyed by it on normal. I don't think I'd finish her. Look! Look at her back! She hasn't even been hit! I haven't even been more than like five inches away from her. That is what is the big mystery. Like, okay, yeah, sure. Some blood disappeared when I used the candle last time. But it's back! It's like, so what, do I use another candle? And then I walk through another room and she's, she's fucked again? You know what I mean? It's just... No, they're not temporary. They're supposed to heal her. Anyway, the whole, the whole, like, 
the whole candle to heal Eileen thing, the whole thing is just like so fucked. Oh, you guys are gonna love this room if you have. Oh, yeah, here we go. A lot of thought. What is this, a mod? I think if she's above you and you're at the door, then you can go in it. I think. I can't remember exactly. Stupid. I was trying to do the speed strat because it looks cool. Oh, they wait for her? okay. It does look like a mod. Like this oh my god, so little thought when I do a lot of this game. The writer who made the story went in, and then everyone else was just like, eh. How about every level is a bunch of circles? Go. We'll heal her after this room. Here we go. What's this? Monkey's point. Oh, that pissed them off. Did they all fucking just go onto her again? Yeah, me too. I love that too. Oh, something on my shoe. I wonder what could be down there. Come on, come on. Give me a little water. There's nothing. This is such a Kevin James, yeah. Henry is Kevin James right now. You like the candle? Oh boy. Something on my shoe. 
Oh look, guys, she's fully healed. See? Nothing to worry about. We'll definitely get good ending because she's fully healed. I remember this next place being really horrible. Thank you, Kingdom. She is getting healed by the candles, yeah. Thank you, Kingdom. Thank you, thank you. Um, the game blind play through this game is pretty long. Like eight to twelve hours at least. Um, but I used to speed run this game. Yeah, Arbor, I I doubt that people actually know though. Like if this if this is from game journalists and stuff, I would like to see the values with Cheat Engine and see what's actually happening. I assume people just say it's temporary because the blood comes back. But like typically in a playthrough, when you reach the end, she's almost always destroyed. Yeah, anyway, we'll probably get good ending. She did get a little wrecked in this playthrough, but there's a couple playthroughs I did where she just got... Oh my god. I would just, there's a couple places I just left her in a room to just get destroyed for like 10 minutes. But, uh, we'll see. We will see. Uh, second. I don't want to ruin the immersion. We're here. One sec. By the way, thank you for joining me, everybody. <coughs> I know uh, you guys are all here today because Silent Hill... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Silent Hill 4 is your favorite game of all time. Um, I want to go back to that time. Things were so good then. The day of my birthday! The cute cat in the pet store, all those balls in my mouth, the playing pool was fun too. The door of time was wide open. When I see four things, I can't help but remember that time. Run! Where's Eileen? Working as intended. Come on, Eileen, you! I don't know the good place to leave her here. There, there is a good place to leave her. I just can't remember where it is. I'm I remember this place. It looks a lot like downtown Ashfield. Pretty sure you can get her stuck in the elevator. <gasps> oh, wait, she can't come down the ladder. Yeah. I just gave her a wallop for no good reason. Right, I'm pretty sure there's heels down here somewhere. Look at these, look at these debate tentacles. Right around the corner. Come here, you Billiard ball. Oh yeah, I think you're supposed to leave her here. Like, you can ditch her here. 
Oh no, I forgot about this shit. Better later, later. I'm going to see my mom. Stay out of my way. Dude, who the hell is that voice who actor? Like an 80 year old man? My name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. I'm kick this sandwich. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. But that's my name. And what are the Thank 21 you, Lawson. sacraments? Tell him. Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. Well, let's go and see Mother. No! Oh, oh, no, that hurt. Ow! You bastard! Damn. Oh, I thought the long hair lit. Oh, yeah. Just, just for no, like. Like, what logic? What logic is there that the fucking hair lady is just... Oh, surprise! Oh, the cutscene ended? Guess who's back? It's hair lady from the subway. Why? I don't know. There wasn't enough fucking health drain enemies floating around. Competitive wheelchair and going on down here. I think I went the wrong way. No, I didn't do the Eileen skip because I forgot how to do it. I wish. It makes this level so much easier. I haven't ran this game in like five years or something. I think we just went the wrong way. Shit, what was this? Actually, I think you gotta call the number now. Uh. Is it two, two, three? Oh, here they go with the fake numbers. Yep, you fucking. We're going to turn this car right into the apartment if you guys don't stop that. Three seven five oh. Three, seven, did anyone type the real number? No. Oh wait, agent. <gasps> wait, do I think we have to call the number? God damn it, don't we? Five 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 three seven five oh. The phone number you are trying to reach is no longer in service. Yeah. The new number is five 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 four eight nine oh. 
Four eight nine zero, baby. Let's go. I got poison. Four eight nine zero. Boing. Woohoo! We did it. Uh, this is not the way. Or, well, there might be a key down here or something. Is there any reason to come down here? So there's nothing down here? I know this is what the end of the level, but... Alright. I wasn't sure maybe there was a key or something. So, so you guys could, um, uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm going down. I cannot wait for Silent Hill Ascension. It's in a few days, guys. We're watching Silent Hill Ascension on stream, if you're allowed. And if you're not allowed, I'm still watching it. I'll go down with the ship. It's basically a TV show. Do you run this game, Pavlox? <laughs> Squish. Squash. Oh, uh, no, there isn't a Vodomy playing Visage, sadly. That was a good one, too. That was a good one. I would play Visage, but I, I feel like it wouldn't be the same. That, that game is definitely a, like, first playthrough. Trump's all kind of game. I played the episodes as they came out. And then I think I did a whole playthrough once the whole game was out. But that was back when I didn't save my VODs much. Or like I was very picky with which VODs I saved. Now every game gets saved. No game left behind. Oh yeah! Oh my god. That is so hard to miss, thank god. That- that volleyball is one of those things where it's just gonna cause a player to be lost for hours. Cause it's just like in the corner of one area. Are you actually- did you see? Oh. I can't. I tried to dodge him and his whole fucking body just followed me.
That drip sound is from another game. Actually, it's probably from a bunch of games. Wait, where's Eileen? For the five gifted subs, let's go. to go play at that game. Ah, uh, yeah, Express Rock, Express VPN. Um, Della? Thank you, Eddie Bingo. I love Express VPN. And it's one of the highest rated VPNs. Actually, I just looked at a site a couple days ago uh, that was ranking all the gaming VPNs and Express VPN came in second. Oh, this is a good place to leave Eileen. Too late now, though. Wait. What's the point of putting the volleyball in there? You have to do it to beat the level. Well, I'm watching all the cutscenes and reading everything, Scurvy. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. We don't go up here. Or, well, I don't even remember, actually. Um... Let's go down here. I think there's an, an item down here. If there's a key item in here. I don't think there is. Oh, for the love of God, dude. These these enemies. What gets me is why are they so common? <laughs> like, what were the devs thinking? Like when I play Silent Hill, for example, like the nurses, I get semi excited seeing the nurses. Okay? Zombies in Resident Evil? I'm like, oh, hell yeah. You know, bring it on. This game, though, it's just like. Everything's just fucking annoying. And why is most of the stuff in this game is invincible? Like, wait, wait, can you hurt the wheelchairs too? Like, are the wheelchairs also invincible? <laughs>
Wow. I don't know if they are. They are? Yeah, the twins are cool. They did make one cool enemy in the whole game. They did, they did. Alright, I'm going this way. No hit run. No, I'll stick to my, uh, twice a year, or, or once every two years playthrough of Silent Hill 4. Thank you, Ansem. I actually enjoy the speedrun of this game, though. It's far more fun than it should be. Hey, there's the cat. where the birthday is? I just didn't have enough time to kick him. Turn around. Oh! Dude, please. Enigma, oh, he's here. He loves this game. We are loving it, by the way. We couldn't be happier. Me and the chat. Look at the tracking. Now that's what I'm talking about. One of the many great things about Silent Hill 4, as if it's saying. Me and Enigma are going to see each other in a few days. And when we do, I won't be able to stop talking about Silent Hill 4. Is this a 9 iron? The driver? Oh my... Let's see how this puppy handles. Oh man! Yeah, we'll both, we'll both go to TwitchCon dressed as Walter, both of us. <laughs> A candle. You find downpour a little less insufferable than four. The brave man in the chat. The driver slaps. All right. Okay, so... Oh, Enigma, do you know... Like... No one knows how healing Eileen works. I don't know if you know either, because you, you, like... I don't know. Is there, like, a threshold of low health that she reaches, and then you just can't heal her beyond that? Golf clubs. How many golf clubs are in this game? No, I don't want the three wood.
You know, I, I don't mind homecoming downpour. I, I would really like to play Origins again. Maybe if I can get it working on emulator and find a save that takes away the film grain, I would play it this year. Wait, oh, did we, did we do it? So now we just gotta go get Eileen. Oh wait, no, we don't need Eileen yet. No, it doesn't give me headaches. It just makes Origins look like shit. Oh, I see. I know. Imagine not doing the skip. I know. I couldn't remember where you're supposed to leave her. She's all the way in fucking... She's at the elevator. <laughs> Wait, do I need her in here? Is this how you get her to the other side? I think it is. I'm gonna go get her. Does anyone know? Okay, so I should go get her now. Oops. Thank you, Kelvin. Well, I, I wish I remembered. <laughs> Fuck, again, <laughs> Rex. I wish I remembered how to actually run this game. How many floating invincible zombie health draining monsters can you fit in a room? Look at Henry and his driver. What a Chad. Hey, if, if you're still here, Enigma, are you going to TwitchCon on the 19th or the 20th? The elevator's not here. Okay. Oh, get in late on the 18th. Oh, okay. I get in late on the 19th. Hi, Eileen. Do you like a candle? To heal your woes? So, should I... Like, should I save the candles until the end of the game, or should I just heal her as I go Henry through? Henry Townsend. Okay, that answers that. You gotta be... F You better be close enough. What? Wait. Henry Townsend. Yo, thank you, Clara. I really appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, if you guys are looking for any of the games <gasps> I played so far. Henry Townsend. Uh, Exodus Rock October, click the second link. Alright, this room has no enemies at the moment. Kill! 
Yeah, I've been I've been keeping her healthy too, or trying. <clears throat> oh, by the way, if you guys didn't say, I did release a new main channel video today. Um, and thank you for those. It has like so many so many comments and likes already. So thank you, everyone who watched it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hurry it up, lady. Manny's was so good. Oh, oh, look. Nice. Think back to the glory days. Oh, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, Panda Boy. Here comes Eileen. Yo, wig removal. Wii Sports was lit. Yeah, <laughs> the candle <laughs> didn't do a damn thing, apparently. I have a candle in my bank. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving the religious notes. Getting this one though. Oh, someone, someone possessed my door. Continuing from yesterday, I'm going to summarize everything that I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. Oh yeah, naturally it was a long way for a kid his age to travel, but he made the trip every week by subway or bus. Unfortunately, someone else was living in this apartment so he couldn't be reunited with his mother. Room 302. For years, he continued to come here almost like he was possessed, just to peek into the apartment. Eventually, the tenants began to complain and treat him badly when they saw him hanging around. Walter began to fear the tenants and see them as obstacles preventing him from seeing his mother. As the years passed and Walter matured, he began to be more and more influenced by the teachings of the cult. Furthermore, his obsession with his mother and his feelings of resentment towards the outer world became even deeper. Walter became preoccupied with one particular tract from the cult's Bible, The Descent of the Holy Mother, the 21 Sacraments. By the 21 Sacraments, the Holy Mother shall appear in the countries of the world and shall bring salvation to the sinful ones. Freeze! Who are you? Yo, Otz, thank Sorry you so much for the me. raid. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. I hope I don't have a follower-only mode on. Where's the button? Did this work? Is it off or is it on? Uh oh. I don't know. Okay, I think I disabled it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was your stream. I was watching for a couple minutes before I streamed. You were doing the hardcore survivor. Actually, I don't know exactly, but you're playing with some France. Welcome, everyone. Nice, enjoy. I really appreciate the raid. Thank you. Make sure to follow on Starbo. One of my favorite streamers. Especially Dead by Daylight. I can't wait for the Halloween event, actually. I do want to do at least one stream of it. Um, now where the hell are we going? Oh, I am playing Silent Hill 4, by the way. Not a blind playthrough. Just to celebrate October. He also taught me how to play DVD as well. He's a saint. Oh, nice. Well, thank you again for the raid. I really appreciate it. I hope your stream went well, and I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Let's go, Eileen. We're almost at the end of Silent Hill 4. Well, I, I, I hope. I think we are. If you haven't seen Silent Hill 4, 
It's one long escort quest from here on out. Come on, lady. Yeah, Book of Memories. If I could get Book of Memories working on an emulator, I definitely would play it. I've never played that game in my life. Come on, Eileen. He's looking a little beat up. So, you're supposed to use candles to heal her, but I don't have any with me. But she looks like she's dead. Thankfully, she can't... Well, she can't physically die in this game. Spiritually, she can. Basically... Um, if you're new to Silent Hill 4, if, if I lean your partner here gets too beat up before the end of the game, you'll get bad ending. Oh god. Oh my god. Please! I'm through! Oh, I'm dead, actually. Well, at least we just saved it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a great game. Yeah. I love it. That was a skill issue, so I apologize. Do do. That is technically a bad ending. Oh, man. Silent Hill 4 is your favorite one, but damn, it's hard. Well, yeah, when, like, every single enemy in the game is invincible and drains your health just with their presence. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough. Come on. This is doing too well. I'm going for best ending. Yeah, she's fine. I would kill these guys in this room, but they're invincible. Don't cut me off of the stairs again. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You're already invincible. You don't have to spam attack me. Oh, shit. Go! Oh, I'm stuck in her hair. <laughs> dude, come on. Like... Come on, Eileen. We don't need this shit. You coming? I'm dead. Do it, Falcon. Oh, 
Oh. Pretty sure that sound is from Wow. Ouch. Hey Bork, would you say this is the best Silent Hill game that doesn't actually take place in Silent Hill? Oh, easily. Thank you. coming. Watch out for the invincible wheelchairs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude, this game is fucking... Oh. Eileen. He's at. No! Did we do it? He's here. Fuck! How many bolts do I have? Others. All righty. Now she'll be alive at the end of the game. We got this. We got this. By the way, I am doing a sponsor after this game, so no matter when it ends, um, I'm doing a sponsor for uh, Lords of the Fallen. Excuse me, madam. Brr. We'll give her the old candle after this boss. Oh, I've watched a lot of Lords of the Fallen. It looks fun. Come on, girl. Oh shit, is this one truth? Oh, it is. Oh, it is. The RNG balls. We love the RNG balls.
All right, I don't. I have a pistol bullet, I guess, but. All right, so. Bad luck so far. I like how it's just the fucking wall creature. <laughs> like the first actual boss is just a reused enemy. The fake, you just see that? Every speedrunner loves this boss. Once you find the real one, though, it's pretty easy. Dude. Oh, come on. Really? Where the hell is he? Hit Eileen at this rate. Move. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's not looking good, guys. Oh, fakey! Oh, shit! Oh! oh. Oh, come on! Ah. It move, Eileen. You fucking... Oh, oh, oh! No, no, I didn't... Get out of here! Move, Eileen, Eileen. Oh, God, this guy is just fucking stunned here. It was the last one! But yeah, I had to go around the dumb way. Do, 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 and not double hit the first two. I'm not a smart guy. Look at that candle burn. main character's fear of pictures. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> it heals Eileen. Or so we think. Almost ready. We need a Silent Hill 4 remake. Who's with me? <gasps> Come on, Bloober, please.
No, Brandoom. I've marathoned every single solitary game that has ever existed, though. Come on, you little shit boy! But when they remake the game, Eileen can be played by a friend. But it's Nintendo style, so she can only like swing her purse. And you don't even have to equip a purse on her. She mainly just runs around. Our apartment's not looking so good. We have a visitor. Oh my god, that took away like all my health. have a oh, Jesus Christ no 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 Henry Cynthia temptation that favor Shit, don't inspect the eye, I'm gonna die! It's not looking so good health-wise. <gasps> Eileen, you think you got problems? You should see my health. Probably should have banked... ...the shit golf club. Alright, I think this is the final area in the game, guys. A diary! <clears throat> I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat ten years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool, an old looking bowl, and a bag that was dripping blood. I never saw him again after that. But a few days later, the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. So I took a look around room 302 and found signs that someone had been in there, but nothing odd other than that. That's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of room 302. Underland. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. Super Nintendo. There once was a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord, but one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House and everyone was very nice to him. The baby was happy. Yay! His friends told him how to wake up his mother, so the baby went right away to go wake her up. But the mother wouldn't wake up. No matter how he tried, she wouldn't wake up. Because the one that he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried. When he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw that the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. Crimson Tome She who is called the Holy Mother be not the ho not holy one wit. The descent of the Holy Mother is the not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the 21 sacraments be not sacramental one wit. 
the 21 sacraments not beat the 21 heresies <laughs> these kinds of notes i oh god god to give birth to a realm of wicked wickedness within the blessed realm of our lord be blasphemy and the work of the devil if thou would stop the descent of the devil now you must bury the part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of the void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. And so do so when the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which once it was by the grace of our Lord. I told you guys. I told you guys. Oh boy. Everyone get your hearing aids in. I can't break down the wall. All right, never mind. What's wrong with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room. But what the hell is happening to it? This room. Is it really my room? It's in ter terrible shape. The air is so heavy. My head hurts. Creepy. It looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? That was the writer just fucking going mm -hmm. off. The writer of the game, I mean. When the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body blood. Thanks, Joseph. The Crimson Tome. Bury the part of the conjurer's mother's flesh with in the true body of the conjurer. All right, in the supers room. All right, I think I know what's up. Look at this, it's all frigged. The gate to hell. All right, we got this. Enter hole. I'm back, guys. Oh, shit! Whew. Almost bis bit the biscuit there. Wait. Shit! Oh no, we have... Got the cat in the fridge. I'm gonna die. <laughs> uh. I actually forget how to do this. <gasps> we need some of these candles for my <gasps> room. Oh. Well, to make it this far, 
let me tell you something about him. Walter Sullivan. When he was yeah. a little boy, he began to believe that my apartment was actually his birth mother. He decided to free her from Thank you, the Dukes. stains and corruption of this world. At the orphanage, he learned of the 21 sacraments, the only way to purify her. He then performed the ceremony of the Holy Assumption and created this twisted world. Now, he's become nothing more than an inhuman killing machine. Thank you, Joseph. Well, he's dead now. But he's still trying to complete the 21 sacraments. His boyhood desire to return to the bosom of his birth has divided him. Now his child self has manifested itself in this world. I see. And soon. He's planning to finish, finish his, his work. work. And to finish his work. The 21 sacraments. Number 20. The Mother Reborn. Eileen Galvin. Number 21. The Receiver of Wisdom. That's us. Henry Townsend. Even now, it may not be too late. He, she's fine. Follow the crimson tone. Stop her. If not, wherever you are, he will catch you. Find him. His I know where he is. True location. I know where he is. It must be nearby. You must kill him. You must kill him. Kill. Oh. Uh, kill. We're gonna. Kill. We're gonna. We're gonna. Kill. We're gonna. Hurry. She's Kill him. She's number twenty. The mother was born. The crimson pole. Obey the crimson pole. All right, buddy. I've heard kill enough. Her. Must kill him. Kill. <laughs> oh my God. Kill. Shut up already. Kill. Jesus Christ. Kill. You know, if they want me to hear the song, just play it as we like bash down the wall and shit. All right. I can't. I'm skipping it. Was, where was this candle? <gasps> if whoever said that in chat, like, there's a million candles. Is there actually one to pick up? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck. Our health is so bad. Oh, this part's gross, guys. Look who's back here. <sighs> oh. He's been back here this whole time. Jesus. <sighs> Icky. Icky sticky.
That's fucking crazy, though. All right, you guys can look at him for a second. I just got to use the bathroom really quick. Oh, shit. Sorry. There you go. There's a good... All right, one sec. Oh, shit. Don't, don't, don't zoom. Well, I don't know how to zoom out now. Oh, wait. All right, there you go. One sec. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? Ooh. Walter? <laughs> I was hoping for a heal. Walter. Hi, guys. Um, evil looking keys. Yeah, be careful. The keys of liberation. We're out! Oh, I think our healing uh, Eileen days are over, by the way. We're leaving the room. GG, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Alright, next up, I have a look. Babe. Yo, thank you, Mars Cakes. Welcome, everybody. How was your stream? Welcome. The cakes. What were you up to? Whoa, squiggly. No way. I don't Not think it's on here, too. Sorry, Bachbot is getting pissed at that message. I'm sorry, everyone. My robot is up. He's not nice. Eileen! 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 Sorry everybody, no hard feelings about the time up, my bot did it. Alright, that- dude, I need a heal stat- oh! Shit! I'm gonna die with one hit! I freeze! Yeah, get out of here. Dude, give me some heals! No! We gotta go. Fuck! Oh, I'm not dead! Health drink! Ugh. Nice head. What, was he blind? Wait, I gotta kick him. No, oh, you bastard! Pick up! No! I'm going down!
So the reason I'm like so hell bent on killing these guys was because you visit this room a couple times. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Dude. Where are all the heels at? It should be like Silent Hill 2 where they're there's a heel around every corner. Sorry, what were you up to, Mars Cakes? I was getting uh, fucked by Walter. For lack of a better word. Hello? Oh shit! She's got that health drain aura! Must have been fun. God damn it. Oh, cool. Yeah, Clock Tower 1. I was really hesitant about playing Clock Tower 1, the first, my blind playthrough. And um, I ended up really liking it, actually. I think Eileen should stay here. I think that's the play. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Alright. Uh oh, someone pointed at me. Oh shit. Go, 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 go! Sick, dude. We're stacking. <laughs> Where's the lady with the. <laughs> I hate this fucking lady. No, no, get your hands off me. Oh, God. Is that a health drink? It is. For a second, I thought it was like Pepsi or something. Oh my- Oh, are you actually fucking kidding me, dude? Get a life, man. <laughs> Jeez, he's got the dualies out. Oh boy. Oh, for the love of God. Ladies? <laughs> Here she comes. Oh, shit. Why are you still alive? Guys, dead yet? Jesus! Oh my God, she's not dead. All right, we we cool? Ah. Come on, heels. Already in here, asshole. 
Oh, it's you. God damn it. Oh shit. Why not add health drain to him? Oh, get, 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 fucking. <laughs> At least you can stunlock every enemy in the game to death. Yeah, I, I like this song. Where's dad? My son leaves me messages like this all the time. There was someone on my in my YouTube comments. I forget what someone said. Someone said like Oh, uh, I forget what the first person said, but someone like like oh box handsome or something like that. And someone commented like like Yada yada yada. He's got kids. I'm thinking like, dude. And and oh, and the the kicker was the he's got kids part had two upvotes. I'm like, who are these three fucking people? How do you think? I, yeah, I've got kids. Yep, totally. I just neglect them for like most of my fucking life. Cause fuck them, you know. I got bigger fish to fry. I got Silent Hill 4 to play for the 14th time. Oh, you're hungry? Fuck off, I'm playing Silent Hill 4. Where's that save spot? It's a sketchbook. Thank you, Fuzzy, again, and Simple Chai. And thank you, Ricky, and Lucinda, and Dukes. Thank you, fellas. Walter's father. Where the hell is dad? I see one. Oh god, they're on aggressive mode. Can I, can I sneak in here? <laughs> and we're out! Fuck yeah, dude. Did he have a baby with the apartment? What, did he screw the apartment wall? Is that what the hole is? Uh, Monkey's point. Oh, shut the hell up. Oh. No, no, you fucking got the double. No, God, this game is such ass. the first oh there's a fuck nice camera by the way kick him have a kid with look at the drinks in this place this is popping oh shit that favor uh. 
Remember when I said I wasn't gonna kill enemies? I lied. This piece of shit looked to be funny. Oh, these are Walter's dad's memories. Oh. Little crybaby. I didn't realize that actually. Of heels, that's nice. All right, I think we found all the bodies. If we did, the door will be unchained. I forget what door it is, though. Yeah, well, I've seen the, the pistol ammo I bent down to pick up and say no to. Eileen, Eileen, she's okay. Happen no matter what. Boy. Thank you, cod dogs. I have to help him. No. Nice. You know what's funny though? This all happened like she was fine until there was one room in the whole game that I went out of the room. She didn't follow. I went back instantly and she goes from full health to fucking dummied and on the ground and fully possessed. I'm just like, I left her for a millisecond. And yeah, we're healing her right now with the candle. Slap you off the side of the wiener. Oh. Superintendent. Wait. Was this the door that was all chained up? Aha. Oh yeah, I've got kids. I'm about to slap them upside the wiener, like I said. Ah! Ah! Oh That's me when I give my kids more than a second of attention per month. Uh, 14. I'm going back, Henry. 
to the room where he is. Well, she's in good shape as she walks away. That's good. I assume. Yeah, I need seven more. I need to complete the 21 sacraments. You've received the umbilical cord. Oh, sick. Back to my room. Oh, does it just take me there? I don't think it does, just... No, but it should. You're damn right it should. This whole game is just walking around hallways and fucking... Everything is so samey in this game, it's nuts. Not that, like, Silent Hill 1 is samey as well. Uh, I think it's this way. Oh, it is. You know, we, we're pretty frickin' stacked. I didn't think we'd be this well off. Did we clear the hauntings? No, that ain't happening. Oh no, where's the, where's the hole in the wall? Well, I might be able to clear the haunt. Oops. Oh, here it is. The hell is this? Oh. Risking it, dude. The amount of time, the oh, the main times I've died in this game are just being trapped in a fucking corner. Honestly, nothing, nothing compares. After playing Village on Village of Shadows, I was actually shocked at how many enemies can just like kill you. Like in Village of Shadows, when we just played through it, you can die to a singular enemy. And you don't even have a chance. Do not, do not say RE4 remake because it ain't even true. You can die to a single enemy. Just like he hits you and you get up and before you can even get away from him, he's boom, you're dead. It's insane. I didn't even realize that until last playthrough or like I forgot or whatever. Favorite Silent Hill game. I actually do love some stuff about this game. Like some of the sound effects are cool and a lot of the music is good. The story is great, but man, the gameplay. <laughs> oh shit, the gameplay. Here's what I think the worst part of the game is. And by a large margin, the level design, in my opinion. This, everything is so back and forth. And ba backtracking, the backtracking in this game is bad enough, but then it's the fact that you do every level 
twice. So you do it once and backtrack the fuck out of it, and then you do it again and backtrack the fuck out of it again. It's like, come on. All right, you guys ready to finish this shit? I probably should have left some more inventory space. Good ending. Oops, I forgot to cleanse my room. Shit. I could have cleansed it, probably. Not all of it, but... Thank you, Zadie. Walter! That smile. <laughs> Not looking good. Uh oh, I don't think she's living, guys. I used every candle on her. Every candle that I own. Well, I used one in the one in the apartment. She might live. She does look fucked up, but she she could live. Hey there, little Walter. Just a little longer now. A little longer, little Walter. She's booting it. What? Oh, shit. Ooh. Oops. Uh oh, now we might not have the time. Eileen's gonna boot it. Eileen! <laughs> we, we got, she's, she's, she'll be okay. Funny. <laughs> oh, there's no way we can save her. She's fucked. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Like,
Get back here. This boss fight is so silly. I hate the back steps, dude. Yeah. All right, if you have the right positioning, you can you can get him. You want you want him to swing at you. <laughs> not that one. No, that's not it either. He's almost dead though. There it is. Man, it actually, it, it low-key pisses me off that Eileen died. Like, we, we used every candle on her besides one. And yes, there's sometimes I left her in a room alone, but never with enemies. So crazy. I like it, but she was. <laughs> but it's crazy that like, let's say you don't leave her, even if you're too far away from her when she's with you. Plus, ah! oh. my hand. Hey, hey. Henry, oh. I think we got best ending. No, this is best ending, I thought. His head. And he takes the Advil. Is he going through his villain arc? Ending. And now the news. Yesterday, in Ashfield and the woods near Silent Hill, the bodies of five apparent murder victims and a sixth severely wounded female were discovered. The woman was immediately rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, but died a short time later of her injuries. She has been identified as a Miss Eileen Galvin of Ashfield. Okay. <laughs> the last body discovered was found in room 302 of the Not South bad. Ashfield Heights apartments. It is believed to be that of its occupant, Henry Townsend. The body was reportedly disfigured beyond recognition, making identification impossible. It's Walter's best ending. Once again, we've got late breaking news. Five unnamed police officers have been found dead for reasons unknown in the South Ashfield Heights apartments along with its superintendent, Mr. Frank Sunderland. All other residents of South Ashfield Heights have been rushed to St. Jerome's Hospital, many complaining of severe chest pain. These strange incidents are similar to the ones which occurred in Silent Hill some years ago. More news to follow. More news to follow? More, there's more news. There could be some good news. Wait for it. Oh. Yeah, we can watch the and we can watch the other endings on YouTube. I I have a spot to movie now. Or well, I'll watch the endings first. Oops, I shouldn't have all tabbed. Oh, I love this song. The Twenty One Sacraments. We did it. 21 sacraments. That's a lot of enemies defeated. What the hell? 167? How? I have 167 enemies in the game. I ran by like everything. I killed some moths here and there. I killed some stuff at the apartment. 100. Where? Okay. Honestly, where the fuck did they get that number from? 
There is absolutely no way I killed 167 enemies. Maybe, maybe throughout my entirety of playing this game, like on all my files combined, but 167. That must be the amount no, of the bugs. Dude, I killed maximum, like if I'm, if I'm exaggerating, 30 bugs. I think it's hits. Oh, maybe they count tentacles. To well, even then, like 167? I don't know, man. Oh, oh, I'm covering it. Sorry. Here, sorry. <laughs> 167. Look at that. Counts for one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I really like that credit song. Brand new fear. So how do you get the other costumes? Do you have to play it on brand new fear over and over? Maybe we'll just run it back right away. Well, you know what? I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the game this time around. It was fun. Um, I still don't... Like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I think the limited inventory is ridiculously stupid in this game. There's no reason it should be limited. Well, there, the reason is because the devs didn't know how to get you to go back to the, to the apartment building to see all the stuff they worked on. And then the level design, I think, is atrocious. But the story is great. The music is great. The enemy design is the worst in the entire franchise. Or, well, Downpour has some pretty bad enemies, but... Man, the enemies in this are so bad. Like, why flood half the rooms in the game with those moths? Like, what purpose? That would be like if in CVX, you know the one room that has the crickets on the ground that stun you and do a little bit of damage, and they're in one room, and they're in only a quarter of that room? That'd be like if they were just everywhere in the game. Like, oh, ow, oh, ooch. Like, why? Like, who, who would think to themselves, let's put this annoying bug in in like 40 rooms in the game like seriously it's not a huge deal to me i'm just saying you know it's hard to fathom like dev sitting in a room and and putting some of these enemies where they are and thinking to themselves this is a great idea the only thing they can the only thing i could think of is they want to really really annoy the player but yeah the enemies are horrible in this game the level design is is subpar but it's got a great story though and um it's got a great soundtrack even this the i love the menu theme here and i like this i like the sounds too like like that <sighs> the sound effects like well do it do it not that that sound effect sucks yeah this one oh, wait here we go i like those no i used to speed run this game actually because the speed run's fun yeah, there's a lot of good things in this game. This game is best enjoyed watching someone else play it, in my opinion. All right, let's watch the other endings. Shall we? But trust me, I got best ending, I'm just saying, but we'll watch the worst, the bad endings. Do, 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 do. All right. Silent Hill 4, all endings. Silent Hill 4, the room, all endings. One sec, the quality is horrible for this video. Same with this one. Do, do, do. Whatever. We'll just watch. There's no. There's no good video. Really. <laughs> I like how Eileen's death is different for the tour. I like how we got worst actual worst ending.
Yeah, this resolution, this is probably the PS2 version and not the PC version. Recorded on VHS as well. Or Xbox, whatever it was on. Eileen? Eileen? Mom. This is the one you get in the speed run. Well, sometimes you get the Eileen dies ending, but. I think this is the one you get. See, this is bad ending. The kid died. Well, you can no, you can save Eileen in the speed run. You typically do if it's a good run, I think. my shark for October. He's getting the hell out of there. The day after. Look, guys. Uh, I like how good end the good endings are so much better than the 21 sack. 21 sacraments is like a brutal ending. to live, huh? Oh. <laughs> live with Henry. It's a Gax boss theme, more sky. I can't remember which one. Like which boss or something. Oh, sorry. flowers this time around <laughs> maybe when she's like I need to find a new apartment he's like I'm staying right where I am <laughs> I 
guess I can go back to South Ashfield Heights now. Uh oh. Should have found more candles. What an ending. Yeah, the dirty room really seals it. Mom. See, my ending is the only one that got the kid back to his mom. Now, if you don't think that's best ending, you're fucked up. That's a fucked up ending. And this is the one I got. Oh, guys. What a crazy, crazy game. Alright, now put what you think... Now give... Give Silent Hill 4 a score out of 10. In the chat. And don't be scared. And don't... Don't let my opinion have any influence. Some sevens, sixes, some tens, some tens, some sixes, some fours, some sevens, some sixes. A lot of sixes. A lot of oof. I don't even think I'd get as low as a six. <laughs> I find it very hard to give games under a seven. Well, unless it's shit. I feel like there's a switch that goes off in my head. Where it's like... If it's like playable and enjoyable, it's like a, at least a seven, but then that's when, uh, or maybe like a six. Yeah, six, six, below six though, the game's gotta be garbage. <laughs> 